Hi! Welcome back. How you doing? We're back to Ace Attorney. I know, it's been a minute. Just like for your fish. Hope it's good! I'm excited to check that out myself. Ah, hi! We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna solve the mystery. Or start a new mystery. I don't know. Apparently this case is a big one. Which is why I waited a bit to start it, because I knew with, um, with the Sonic Origins Plus stream, the sponsor stream, and I knew I was gonna be hyper late boys on Tuesday. So I figured I'd wait until I could uh, dive into it in earnest. It's a chonker. We're gonna rewrite history. Hey, Viz. Well, do not spoil things. For you. Appreciate it. You can share it in the Discord, but also you got a spoiler tag in the Discord, or be mindful of spoilers. Oh shit, the shades! Oh my god, gamer deal. <laughs> I always forget that Squeet lines up pretty good. <laughs> I'm never expecting it to just. Oh my god, looks great. Uh, hi. Yeah, I, d I did. I did. We are late, boys, because I did want to make that Miles emote and did not make time for it yesterday. And then I finished and went, wait! And, 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 and like, and like a vision, like see, like, like Mufasa parting through the clouds. I saw Maya as, as Luke doing a tiny think, having her first thought. So I wanted to make that. So sorry we're late, but hopefully it was worth, worth the wait. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know what to, I was thinking of calling him Bargeworth. Or Bar Miles, and then Bartopsy Report appeared in my vision next to Maya, and I went, okay. So, there they go. I'm glad you like them. I have not been Final Fantasy 16 ing no. I want to get back to it, but that's almost the same thing with this, where, like, I haven't had a lot of gaming time lately. And, like, when I get back to 16, I'm going to want to, like, just dive in the deep end. Uh, but I did, I did have a little bit of time to play a Vigi game yesterday, and I got around to finishing Humanity which I played uh, a good chunk of on stream. Very weird puzzle game where you're a dog and you're navigating crowds of people around. It was great. It was good. I recommend it. Um, a couple of the mechanics and levels in Humanity, I was just like, eh, this isn't really what I signed up for. Like, uh, there, there, are, there are parts that become, like, very timing-based and very, like, not completely RNG, but just, like, sometimes it feels a little random. Whereas the early levels are very much like they go here, they walk here, etc. So, it was good. It was good. It was fucking weird, and I love a weird puzzle game that feels like a PS1 game that fell through a time portal and came out today. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get back into it. Um, 
I also needed to, you know, space this out so I don't destroy my esophagus. So we'll see how long I can go today. I plan on doing more of this tomorrow. So I don't want to push crazy late and then have no voice left for tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, can we add burger time? What is... Do you have a link to it? We, we can give you a permit if you find... I don't... I'm sure if I look at burger time on BTTV, there'll be like 80 results. Good evening, Kirk. A happy family. Everyone's here. The gang's all here. Yeah. You got it? All right. Thanks, Onsta. Yeah, I, my, my first thought is, is NES. Or arcade burger time, rather. What do you got over here? <laughs> I... I... Mm, Mmm. I'll allow it. Alright. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Ah, shit. She needs her burgers. She needs her burgers. Let me refresh chat. Ay. Uh, uh, this. This should be the. There you go. Give it a second to reboot. There you go. There. She can have her bur. Finally. She can have her burgers. Great. Delicious. What's the flip? Uh, depend V exclamation for vertical H horizontal uh, or H exclamation point for horizontal. Eat your burgers, Maya. There you go. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you everyone. Hi, we're gonna get going. Let's roll this. Let's roll this fucking janky ass sled. It's like it's like the metaphor in my mind is a Tears of the Kingdom contraption where I've just glued a bunch of parts together on the wheels. I'm giving a push down the hill. That's me starting stream every day. Every day that I stream. Thanks for the soup. Appreciate it. Casual tea, yo. Going one by one through your Kingdom Hearts playthroughs. Thought I'd catch my first stream. Hey, welcome. Thanks for tuning in live. I hope you've been enjoying them VODs. Appreciate it. You're just in time for a very normal stream. It's very normal. You have to use the modify emote channel point redeem the flip Twitch emotes. Yes. Correct. Yeah, the, the commands only work for BTTV emotes. You should be able to spend channel points. And if you're tier 2 or tier 3, there's modifications you get that are just free. You're like, you don't have to spend channel points. I forget what they are. I think it's horizontal flip for tier 2 and then, like, grayscale. I don't know. Yeah, the streamer, as a streamer, you can customize what people get for tier 2 and tier 3, but I don't remember what I set them to. So there you go. Don't put the burger in Ham's butt. Listen! Where do you think hamburgers come from? Uh, anyway, I uh, ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. I did. I, okay, I did want to share real quick um, uh, 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 a couple bits of um, shit posting slash fan art uh, from the community uh, because I, I was I, I hopped on the Discord server. Ch shoutouts to the Barry Cord. He enjoyed it. It's great. Um, and uh, uh, there were a couple of things in response to the the, the Sonic stream. Uh, which I was... I, I feel like I should probably do this more often, because every now and then people post amazing shit, and I'm like, that's great! And then I Omega Low React and move on with my damn... Like, I could talk about it on stream, and highlight how good this is. How great... How how happy this made me. This this was done by, uh, by Joker Ham. Um... There he, there, he, there he is. I just... That made me happy. And, uh, after that, um, Penguin... 976 uh, posted a screenshot of what the thumbnail on Twitch was at a very specific moment. And I didn't think about it at the time, but this context sucks. So thanks for that. Um, what do you got here, Mayamoto? Is this a thing I should open up on, on stream without seeing what it is? Uh, I've never drawn Maya before. Oh, yeah. What you just heard was logic. Oh my god. I can't wait to play it. Um, the way to solve this puzzle is to turn the bread like so. You're a total puzzle-pilled solving cell, Mr. Late. Mr. Layton, I hate that so much. What does that mean? Yeah, I... Puzzle-pilled solving cell. Ugh, I don't know if I can find it. I did, I did see, um... Someone posted Ghost Trick Layton fan art. That was, um, uh, Leighton and Sissel, and Leighton's like, Congrats on bringing me back to life. However, you could have solved that puzzle in four moves. He's like, huh? Eh? It's good. Um, anyways, that, that was that. Uh, uh, this, this is by Mystery Who. I wrote down in my notes because I wanted to make sure I could credit. This is... 
If you missed the Sonic Origins stream, uh, uh, listen, it, it, it was a sponsored stream, right? But like, damn, I had a, I had a good time and I'm glad y'all did too, because she's saving, it's called Amy Saves the Future.png. She's, that's, that's gonna save the timeline, Amy, you gotta do it. So, that was good. Uh, and uh, this is unrelated to, to Sonic, but related to today's stream, but Penguin Montanari, gave us this, which I think we can all agree is update the autopsy report update the autopsy report Miles, what are you doing? Um, and uh, the last thing I was going to share was uh, uh, unrelated to any of these but related to my heart is uh, NK made this Barnaby embroidery and I just and I just they even nailed the like the the way that I just very slap shot scribbled in the color. Like it's it's so authentic. It's incredible. So I wanted everyone to look. Yeah, I am embroider bee. It's a, a embroidered embroider bee. It missed the middle finger. That is the perhaps the only detail. Is he's he doesn't have his middle finger up, but I'll allow it because goddamn look at it. I wanted to yell about that. Thank you for indulging me. Uh, let's get cop on alert so we can hop back into this shenanigans, shall we? Uh, in between streams, Blazing Glory 99 dropped 10 bits for some reason. Thank you. And uh, Nemo Nobody and 3Emo Nemo dropped a prime. Mm. Thanks for the prime. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Uh, now including Bar Topsy Report and Bar Think. I wasn't sure what to call Maya, because because the the default thinking Barvatar is Thunk, and I called uh, Leighton Barthink and Luke Barthonk. So I'm running out of running out of vowels, but I thought Thank worked pretty good. Toot Toot Sonic Warrior, Toot Toot Sonic Warrior. The fact that Doot Doot Sonic Warrior didn't get my VOD claimed, I'm like, okay, well I'm just gonna blast that out during every stream from now on. Only thing, yeah, bar think is a different word though. So, now think with a Y. I don't like that. Yeah, bar crime, bar crimes. It is the perfect song. Everybody thinks 100 bits. I object to the stream. All right. I should make a, an ending stream screen. That I never, I always just end stream. Like I, I send off the raid, say bye to VOD watchers, and just hit end. I don't do an outro like some streamers do. I should make an outro scene just for the bit, just for the fucking meme, for for when people are like goodbye, and then I can be like, all right, shutting it down. Good night, everyone. I just have fake credits. Uh, send me dragon. Thanks for 19 months. Bar presto. Thank you. Phoenix grimace meme. Um, bad news, Joshua. I'm immensely sick of grimace. <laughs> This isn't directed at you, of course, but like, holy shit. I was tired of the Grimace memes day one and they just keep going. And like, yeah, some of them are very elaborate and they're technically well done, but I'm just like, come, come the fuck, like, what happened to Silence Brand? Like, don't fall for the bait. Yes, they made a Grimace milkshake. They knew people would meme on it. So you're just playing into their hands when you meme on it this long or this much. It just makes people want to go to McDonald's and buy a Grimace. Who cares if it's for the meme? You're still supporting their bottom dollar. The bottom line, you don't want, you don't want the Grimace milkshake. You do not. Don't let them brainworm into you. Stop it. <laughs> it's not even flavored. It's not even oob. What? Hmm? But my social media clout, listen, there's so many ways to have social media clout that don't involve advertising for a multi-billion dollar corporation. So you just, you just don't need to. <laughs> like... Like I, I, it's 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 also like kind of tied into my long-running rant, which it's so out of out of date now. But my my example has always been the fucking Ultra Instinct Shaggy meme, where I'm like, that's different because it's like, okay, what big Scooby Doo, whatever. Like that's it's not the corporate side of it, but like the meme is this is the one joke. The meme of the Grimace shake is oh it's terrible, and then that you die or you go feral and turn into a monster. That's the joke. I, I, it's it's not interesting. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like there's no legs on that meme. It's just here's my take on it, which is fine. Let people have their fun, sure. But it's like it's been going on for so long. I'm so tired. I can't wait for someone to watch this vod in the distant future. And be like, oh yeah, 
forgot about Grimace posting. No. Nice. And I envy you because it sucks right now. <laughs> it's too much of it. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I, no fun allowed on my internet. Listen, this is why I'm allowed to. This is my space. This is my shoebox corner where I get to stand on it and be like, I don't like this thing. And you have to sit here and be like, shit, when's he going to play the game? So this is the one spot I have to do that. You know, I could go out on Twitter and blast it on the internet, but I'm just like, it's not worth it. You're allowed to be wrong. I am allowed to be wrong. Correct. I'm on Zenga. Yo, we all abandoning Reddit and going back to Zenga? I'm down. Let's go. Kid tennis slow my space on my couch. R.I.P. The meme's done, but the shake is tasty. Did you... That's fine. You're allowed to like what you like. <laughs> Live your truth. Thank you. That's all I know. Uh, I only come here for old man yells at nice. cloud opinions. Back in my day, memes were called image macros. Because we only had enough bandwidth to download a sloppy JPEG. It was a simpler time. Anyway, uh, Ebbe, thank you. Senri Dragon, thank you. Argento Natsu, thanks for 37 months. Objections. Plural. Don't say sloppy JPEG. You can't stop me. I remember. Uh, thank you, Argento. Smash Red, thanks for the hammy. I forgot to mention this on Sunday stream. On June 25th was the 10th anniversary of Steam Train and Danny Everdan slash Danny Sexbang joining Grumps. I wanted to ask if there were any memories you'd like to share regarding Dan or Steam Train or even you know who leaving you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, uh, thank you. That, ten, Jesus. I know. 10 years is a long time. Uh, uh, um, I mean, the only thing I, I immediately think comes to mind when I think about launching it, because, because, like, here's the thing, like, we knew it wasn't going to be well received from the start, and thank God, I'm, I'm glad that people stuck with it, because Dan and Ross are amazing, hilarious people, um, but, um, that was literally me and Ross pulled an all-nighter, getting everything together for the, the launch of the new show. Because we only got everything, like, the final bits all put together, like, a couple hours before that morning. And and so we just were like, let's just stay up and watch the internet get mad at us. Because <laughs> it's not every day that you get to piss off the whole internet. And it's not a thing anyone should aspire to. But when you're watching that train, pun intended, barreling down the tracks, and you're just slapping down the track in front of it, and you're just watching everyone get mad at real time at the track you're putting down. It's like, eh. So, I think it was literally just like the first episode went up. It was like the announcement video, and then the first episode went up, and then you just hit refresh, and all the comments were like, what? <laughs> everyone was, everyone, everyone disliked that. And it's like, I don't think any of us were surprised by that. It's like a good, drastic change, day, like no advanced warning. So, yeah. I get it. But, as I said, I, I think the people that did give it a shot i think a lot of people did like their vibe and they're as i said they're both they're both great people so it was a good time barreling down the tracks in the emo. yeah so there's something about barry talking about why he doesn't like grimace shake memes and zoomer chat egging him on that i love <laughs> it's because i'm an elder millennial you know so i i just get to sit here and be like listen listen i'm here to understand you but also i'm going to judge you that's I don't believe in, in, in generational stereotypes. I think they're harmful, not helpful. But come on, Zoomers, you're better than, than playing into the brand. Like, if Silence brand was like your rallying cry as you came of age on the internet. And now you do this shit? I, I thought better of you. Come on. Come on, Zoomer. <laughs> Back in my day, the shake was Harlem. Har Ironically, Harlem Shake is also my example of not great meme. The whole point of the meme is here's our take on it, which people can be very creative and technically adept and, and, and flex in that regard. But after X number of times, and X, I don't know what that number is, solve for X, a certain number of times it happens, it's like, I don't care. As soon as you reach the point of like this massive stadium of people all doing the Harlem Shake, I'm like, I, I it's dead. It's dead to me now. But then it just keeps on going, limping along like a meme that just doesn't know when to die. Muzzy's coming back. Je suis l'enjouvi. Zoomer Facebook is TikTok, and it's really weird. Do Zoomers use TikTok like we used to use Facebook? I mean, I say used to. I don't know what Facebook is like these days. I haven't used it actively since probably about 10 years ago. So. They're speaking French. Zoomers are becoming boomers. Oh, my God. It rhymes. Follow Muzzy on TikTok <laughs> for French language life hacks. Uh, anyway, uh, 
chat, you can yell about that for a bit. Kale the Dragon, thanks for 53 months. Pants Turkey, thanks for 13 months. My neighbors started referring to the noises our Boston Terry makes as Nording. And you're like, that that's taken. You can't call it that. I'm sorry, what noise does your Boston Terrier make that Nording is an applicable term for it? Does your dog just go like as if every time it barks? Darkness. 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 I can hear it. I feel like a dog could say that. Submit. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember what the fuck anyone says in that game. <laughs> I mean, he says. Uh, thank you, Pants. Toaster Posey, thanks for 100 bits. Objection, I for gore. That's an actual line from this game. Metacrossing, thanks for 37 months. Remember that Cleopatra Rhythm Heaven thing I made a while ago? I bring another gift. What have you done? What have you... Hold on. Sonic, calm down. Sonic, hold on. Uh, uh huh? Thank you for sharing the uh, Sonic music back on air. Yeah. That was amazing. What is this? What have I come to? Welcome, those guys. Uh, unnamed trans girl, thanks for the handy. Happy Banjo Kazooie Day. Not only that, it's also my birthday. Your birthday is Banjo Kazooie Day? Because of my birthday, I get to introduce you to my girlfriend. Hey, hi, welcome, thank you. Happy birthday, happy banjo day, happy girlfriend day. Thank you for all this, happy, uh, thank you for the handy. Uh, the little Star Wars, thanks for 60 months. Enjoy your, 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 your key card, thanks for five years. Mercanius, not back TikTok, it's a reference. I was like, I don't, this feels like I'm missing something. Mercanius, thanks for 17 months. Flying home to Colorado today. Glad I can enjoy the morning with Barold and the cute chat. Hope to catch you at a normal U.S. time in a few weeks. For a few weeks. Safe travels. Thank you so much for all the months. Cyberspace Cat, thank you for the hand. Me pointing intensifies. Man, man, man. I would hate it. Good. <laughs> Smash Brothers with soup. It's Banjo's 25th anniversary. They've been around for a quarter of a century. Funnily enough, I just bought an N64 Switch controller. You know I'm going to use it to play Banjo Kazooie. Hi. Hope you enjoy it. I really, uh, I haven't used it in a while, but I do enjoy my my Switch N64 controller. Just the fact that it exists. Just holding an N64 controller that's fresh is a weird feeling for me. It's a very nostalgic controller, and it's a really bad controller, but I'm nostalgic for it. Ryan's a turd, thanks for a year. Thanks for all the laughs and hours of entertainment. Thank you! Enjoy your very mild, your mildly crisp game. It's not very mildly crisp yet. That's later. Collateral, thanks for 23 months. Two phoenixes make a right, or something. Coyote Boy, thanks for 19 months. Whack on Waterton, thanks for 8. Raven Light, thanks for 40 months. More Ace Attorney, thank you. McChunk is Among Us, thanks for 19 months. How you doing? How was Portal Reloaded? Been meaning to check it out as well. I had a great time. It did fry my brain. 
but it was good. I enjoyed it. I, and I highly recommend playing the uh, single player campaign, which I did not stream, but it's completely different. And it's nuts. I want to cut nostalgia if it was good. Yeah, there you go. Aced Attorney. Did it. Uh, Kitsuna Sif, thanks for soup. Yummy sip of a Borg. Just, you know, will it blend? Assault was taken, thanks for 16 months. That's almost 20 years in dog years. Welcome to Rise from the Ashes, the most unique case in all of Ace Attorney. One of the longest cases in the series, except expected to take two to three streams. Contender for most evidence held at once. Only case in the mainline series without turnabout in its name. And the only case in the OG trilogy that uses DS features, since it's effectively bonus content for the DS version. This one's a trip. Have fun. Thank you. Well, it sounds like a good thing I'm playing it on the DS then. I mean, I'm assuming that they adapted it for Ace Attorney trilogy, right? But maybe it's not the same. Ugh. Yeah, we're doing the special one. They did adapt it. Gotcha. That's cool. That's lowballing it? We better get to it. Barry Dingle, thanks for 69 bits. I can't believe this case reveals that Barry was actually a clock all around. I was a clock powered by a tiny monkey with a crank. Ook, ook. Triumphant of Tooth, thanks for 35 months. Welcome back. Casualty, thanks for 69 bits. It's so oddly pleasant being a part of the live action after many hours of laughing at slash sometimes getting angry at pre-existing videos. Cheers. Thank you. I mean, what's the point of, uh, you know, it, I feel like, I feel like that's, got, correct me if I'm wrong, it's got to be like 80% of what converts a VOD watcher to a live watcher is just being so mad at me that you're like, I need to yell at him in real time. I feel like that's got to be a significant part of it. I ran. Oh. Oh. Majima? Wait, I remember when I came to Japan for the Tojo Clan trial. Damn right, you're the law dude who saved my ass. Showed him all how pure and innocent I am. Told me not to punch the judge. That was good advice. Why is Heihachi here? Why isn't he saying anything? They know each other. This is real. 2% Chorny. Project X Zone. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't... I don't... I don't want to... You know what? I thought it was weird... It, what does it say about me? I was like, why is Heihachi here? Hey, not even questioning that Majimo's hanging out with Phoenix. I It didn't even feel weird. Anyway. Shit. Good. Uh, Elixport, thanks for 69 bits. Nice. Sometimes I feel like I'm missing out by refusing to watch TV, movies, browse social media, and generally not interact with popular culture. Then something like the Grimace Shake comes along and dispels my doubts. <laughs> if this is what it means to be normal, I don't want to be normal. Thank you, Abbe, for 100 bits. I remember my first meme, it was the only owls. Oh, the, sorry, the oh, really owls. Those were the days. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like YTM and D was probably my introduction to memes. Like, in, in a modern context, the people remixing the same idea rather than, like, here's an image macro that I've changed the text of. Like, YTM and D would have trends that people would riff on, which, yeah. Things like the oh, really owls, sure, but, yeah. Any DM. Oh, well, there are a million things. Ermagerd, yeah, yeah. That, that, I think that's that might be a little bit after YTMND. It was around the same time though. I can ask cheeseburger, yeah, yeah. Is the evolution alive? It was just knocking on Barry's window. Yeah, it just keeps progressing. Fire my laser. Yeah. When you truly had no idea what you're clicking on, saw stuff. Yeah, I mean that that's that's like Web 1.0, kind of bridging into 2.0, where it's like very user driven on these hubs. But yeah, you you would just like. I would often go to YTM and D and just click on some of the newest posts and just be like, half of them were just inside jokes, half of them were horrifying, just walls of noise and, you know, trying to break your computer. It was great. Do I miss it? Eh, not really. Well, I'm glad I was there. Sure. I finished the main game, Krovis, but we have one case left, no. which they added for the DS release in the West. And apparently it's nuts. Any other efforts go to? Yeah. Anyway, it was our garbage. <laughs> no algorithm to steer the way. Uh, Dave, thanks for 100 bits. I uh, With the last of my bits, I'm crying because Hitman a World of Assassination is not on sale for the damn Steam Summer Sale. Time to cry. Oh, oh. I mean, it's great. I think it's worth full price, but I've also dropped like hundreds of hours into that trilogy, so I am biased. That's another game I plan on getting back to is... I gotta get back on my on my fucking hundred mastery grind in freelancer. It's good. Hey goat. How you doing? Yeah, too many too many video games. The garbage ape cometh. Uh, big cats. Thanks for 64 months. Welcome back. 
That's a lot. Sweet Fang, thanks for 20 months. Can I have my first sub as an employed fast food worker? However, I'm just stopping by since I don't want Phoenix Wright spoiled for me. I hope you enjoy it when you get to it. And thank you for 20 months. Congrats. Uh, Warfy, thanks for 50 months. Your Honor, I can't do another full case of this. Something, something unnecessary Felix. Bartopsy report. Uh, b uh, 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 Abe Vanderbend. Thank you for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Long time VOD watcher checking in. Just started playing this game after seeing your plays. And oh boy, this last case. Sounds like I have a lot to look forward to. Thank you. Argento Natsu, thank you for 69 bits. Nice. My first memes were the badly drawn stickmen, and I can't remember what they're actually called collectively. I'd have to see to know what you're talking about. There's been a lot of poorly drawn stickmen on the internet over the years, and I've seen on many of them. Seam summer sales now. Yeah, I, I'm scared to look at it, frankly. Oh, like Rage Comics? Those aren't really stick figures. But I know what you mean. Remember Rage Comics? Remember when I made a Rage Comic reference in my uh, Kingdom Hearts video? Or was it in the Kingdom Hearts 3 video? I think it was in the Kingdom Hearts 3 one. When Sora's getting texted? Yeah. It pained me emotionally to draw that. Uh, Kitsune said thanks for 36 bits. Ace Attorney Chronicles, while having nothing to do with Phoenix, is one of the best recommend playing at some point. Thank you. You know, uh, I have a recommend form. You can type in there, please, oh god, Jesus. I desperately need Streamer Man to play this game. Rage Comics were hilarious 2008. They, they, I'm not going to deny that there were a, a bunch of them that I enjoyed. They just kind of... They had their time. And now we've just reinvented Rage Comics like 10 different times since then. Thank you, Weave. Yeah, we're spoiler-free. Because it's the game's old, but I don't know what's happening. Universe Fireworks, thanks for 50 bits. Chat is cute. Plus, there was a lot of cool astronomy news today, which is very cool. What kind of astronomy news? Did they did they find where the sun is? Cause I I I I haven't I haven't seen it. How come they tell you not to look at the sun? Where are they hiding in there? Hmm? 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 Maybe the moon's actually in the sun. And then the moon that you see at night is a fake moon meant to trick you. They learn the stars exist. Nah, that's not true. It's right there. Planning on playing the Layton crossover? Yeah, so that's why I'm playing this. Is I've been a long time Layton fan, but I've never played an ace attorney, and I want to play the crossover. But um I, I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with this game. Um, so I imagine once I'm done, I might I might try like pulling it, seeing how people feel. Because I'm not going to do it right away. I do like to space things out a bit. But um, I, where I'm at right now, I'm like, I don't know if I would be opposed to doing more in the series. I'm just not promising that right now. They seem to be very long games, and they take a lot. But um, I think at least one person had mentioned that they recommended the full trilogy before the crossover, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that or not, but I'm curious to get people's takes on it. If they're like, eh, it doesn't matter. Because, you know, we'll see. Anyway, I vote no more ever again. That's my kind of vote. I vote for nothing. Please, no more. I don't want it. Super doesn't matter. Rad. Awesome. No more video games. Yeah, Onsta, I would I would need you in, in like my motorcycle sidecar if we did that, though. I would need you to just yell about everything. I don't know. I vote for nihilism. Apollo and Athena, we're so far from that. I'm there. <laughs> Herlock Sholmes. Sholmes might be there too. Yeah. Yeah. Lying on the floor asleep. That's a good vote. Uh, in the sidecar with the Sholmes mech. <laughs> There's the Sholmes. Universe of Fireworks, thanks for my five bits. New map of the galaxy with neutrino plus long gravitational waves for those who care. Oh, I, well, I care. That sounds neat. Hold on. Um, new... New, new, new map. New gal- new galaxy map? Is that a- Uh, uh, new maps of Milky Way are biggest and best yet. Okay. Welcome, new galaxy! Artist impression of the European Space Agency's guy saw observing the Milky Way. Okay. I think my tracker blocker is breaking this website a bit. New map of the Milky Way, that's from 2020. Here we go. New Milky Way map. Yeah. Reveals the magnificent messiness of our galaxy. Uh. So what's new? Uh, they're using like stock photos with this article. Well, I don't know where to look, so I'm just gonna give up. Uh, it sounds cool though. I like space. It seems neat. It's a lot. There's a lot of it, and not a lot of us. So patch notes. More space. I start playing Grey's Anatomy. Not touching for more than a year. Nice. They're using pulsars like a super huge version of the LIGO that used to measure gravitational waves for the first time. Look up nanograph. 
Nanograv. Nan nanograv. Major discovery about gravitational waves. It's th there are two types of news articles. Washington Post says astronomers announced major discovery about gravitational waves. Okay. AP News says scientists have finally heard the chorus of gravitational waves that ripple through the universe. And 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 the and their their header uh, picture looks like it would make for like uh, the the coolest cover to a math textbook you've ever seen. It, all it's missing is text on it that's just like gravitational waves through space time and then like eight author names at the bottom. Neutrino map for algebra for angry teens. <laughs> that's just called algebra. You don't have to. Anyway, uh, uh, sh sh let's play this game. Let's play this video game. God, sh shut up, Sonic CD. All right, now it's quiet. We have noise though. All right. Um. Hi. Okay, we're gonna start uh, from chapter start. Sure. I mean, we didn't really do any of it, but. We'll go get back into it. Be hard deal. Thanks for three months. Enjoy your outhouse ski. Thank you. I mean, yeah, yeah for shitting. Uh, thank you, oh, Chris, for the three three bits. Hey, Barry, can I have a twenty four hour timeout for my birthday today? No pressure or anything. Um, I'm not gonna do that. But I mean, if one of my mods wanted to just pull out a sniper and take you out, that's up to them. I hope you enjoy your birthday and big time out. Enjoy. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. Go, go! Let's go. Chapter start. Oh, this is already... Look at all that parallax! Rise from the ashes. Oh my god. But there's two of them! <laughs> In two different buildings? Meanwhile, a third man is being stabbed. Whoa! What is all this? What is all of this? Is that Mia? Kinda looks like Mia. But that can't be Mia, she's dead! Or isn't she? It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. February 22nd, 10.02 AM, right in Cola offices. Who's the co at this point? It's just him alone in his office. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are, finally. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow! I'm the co. Oh, okay. Maya equals co, but she's been gone for two months. Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am, it only matters who you are! Me? You're the famous defense attorney, Mia Fey! Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey is no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, defense attorney. My name is on the door that you had to walk into to enter. Well, she's got her glasses. Right, right. Wait, you are the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. Wasn't he just complaining about two months without cases? But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help! It's my sister! <laughs> That's just like Mia, Maya, Maya, Mia. Remember that? Maya? Could it be? Are you the same person as Maya? People come to me doesn't want to work without Maya. Oh, I missed that part then. I thought it was just like, no one wants to work for me now that Maya's gone. I'll hear you out. 
I'll maybe take the case. Really? Thank you so much. Is is her like red pin on her lapel like a, a, a very surprised ooh? Or is it just a big frown? It's a pog, it's a pog pin. Looks like Mr. Bill, who's Mr. Bill? Looks like the mirror shield. Oh yeah, the, 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 the Majora's Mask one. Shouts to the shield with the screaming face inside. Hold on, I... Mr. Bill. Who's Mr. Bill? Oh. Oh, I haven't thought about Mr. Bill in a very long time. Wow. Oh my god. What on earth? Why? Jesus. I don't remember Mr. Bill. No, I'm so old I forgot about Mr. Bill. Hey, VOD watchers, this is Mr. Bill. Do you remember Mr. Bill? Because holy shit, this was an image I hadn't seen in decades. So, thanks for that. Anyway, I'm glad that Mystery Lady's a Mr. Bill fan. How could you forget Mr. Bill? I don't know. But now I have a, a name for the sleep paralysis demon that haunts me at night. My name's Emma! <coughs> Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Okay. Scientific investigator? He will visit in the night. When you least expect it. How's Charlie doing? Mia's plant Charlie. Woo! Char yeah, woo! It's like, it's, for any Homestar fans out there, it's like onion bubs, isn't it? <laughs> Charlie the plant. Yeah, Charlie, woo! I've been taking care of him in Maya's absence. Onion bubs, woo! Uh, looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planting a second branch outside the city. He gets the bellboy was staring right at me. Isn't that the worst? When you're when you're just trying to be a weird person staring at someone and they look back at you, it's like, ugh. I was meant to be looking at you. This wasn't meant to be a two-way stare fest. There's a poster of the Steel Samurai on the wall. Maya stuck it up here on the day that she left. I didn't have the heart to take it down. Yes. I do sometimes get strange looks from the clients, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, how's the desk? Mia's desk. He's been- this has been his office for what, like, maybe not a year, but it's been- it's been- I forget when the first case took place. It's February of the following year, and I think it was like summer or fall of the year before. Yeah, it's been like eight months or something. So, was it September? He's traumatized him. September. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, September to February, that's... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I sit here even less now that I've stopped taking cases. I ought to at least dust it off once in a while. Here you go. How about the books? September 3rd. That's how it works! You're right. Everyone's path is different. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I tried reading one and made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. And my foot hurt too. That's the same. Good. Great. Um, hello, Emma. I am an attorney. Hey, Circle Man. Thank you for the 100 bits. Birthday was yesterday. I was busy then taking the return to Ace Attorney as a well timed gift. This is for you. Happy birthday. Hope you had a great day yesterday. Thank you for the bits. This is my attorney's badge. Hey, Shiv. Ah, well, I've never seen a real one before. You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. I show it to everyone. Its composition is mostly silver. The gold plating is flaking a bit. She analyzed it. Scientifically. <laughs> There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfides. I'd give you $50 for it. So it's not for sale? Yet. Yet? Phoenix, please. Come on. It's not that dire. Okay, hey. What's up? Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator. <laughs> 50 bucks? Listen, I gotta make rent. I haven't had a case in two months. 50 bucks, done. You're a scientific investigator. Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of, uh, jumpy. Or maybe just young? Young people like to jump. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. I see. Wait! Only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known. At my age, no less. So what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job at my age, no less. 
upgrade another future professional in training. I just drove past a place called Fey Law Offices right when Emma was asking about Fey and Co. Law Offices. Nice. What's with all these children in the Justice Department? Um... It's a good question. I mean, it's every- every adult in this series seems to be incredibly incompetent or self-serving or both. And also due to the judicial system being basically held together with string. It seems like the children are the only hope. But not in an aspirational, like, inspirational way, but in like a, oh god, we're doomed. It's quite horrifying. So what's this about a case? He said the trial's tomorrow? Women in STEM. There you go. My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. It's just not science. So it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? Tell me about science. That's a rock fact. So you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, huh? Excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't falter for a lack of enthusiasm. Phoenix thinking back to all the crime scenes he's actively contaminated. Yes, science. It's a great idea. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. Science! Hey, Todd! How is this 15-year-old more mature than this 24-year-old? Uh, 16-year-old, but also, yeah. I think everyone younger than Phoenix is more mature than him. My sister asked for her specifically. Mia Faye was a few years below her in school. She went to the same school as Mia. She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And, well, I need one. M Mia was not a defense attorney. It, it never was a trying to. So they were in school together, and she was probably talking about being a spirit medium. She was? She was? Wait, since what? <laughs> I'm thinking of Maya. I'm th you're right. You're right, I'm thinking of Maya. You're right, you're so right. This whole time I thought she was talking about Maya. I'm sorry. I get it now. She's talking about Mia. That makes way more sense. Okay, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. I need one. Incidentally, Mia is a woman. Mia. Yeah, I thought it was a little strange when I saw you too. The dead one. Yeah, no, I, 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 got, I got it. I got it. I just... I got it. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. That, oh. <laughs> That's a very innocuous statement for the music to cut out. The record scratch. Mm -hmm. Well. How could I possibly confuse me and Maya, right? Actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate, hate her. Like she is now? You mean accused of murder? Huh? But she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents, Phoenix? She said only family. They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have thought about that being a possibility before I opened my dumb mouth. Anyway, goodbye. See you later. I'll leave you in my office. I'll be back later. Don't touch Charlie. February 22nd, detention center visitor's room. Oh, she came with. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. Sorry, ma'am, it's just your, your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise this year, hmm? No, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? Was that salary cutting noises I heard? Oh my god! Hi, Lana. Oh my god, she's a cryptid. My god. She doesn't have faces all fur. Are, are like two red eyes gonna glow out through the hair? It's cousin it! He's on trial for murder. Funny. 
I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. She's dressed like she belongs in Ghost Trick. R perhaps my memory is failing. Uh, look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial tomorrow, the trial is tomorrow and you don't still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Oh! Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? How did she know I was there? She's dressed like Edelgard Fire Emblem. She's hot, I knew it. Of course she's hot! There's only two genders in Ace Attorney, hot and old. Those are the only two. Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? Or Salmonella, true. And child. <laughs> it's child, hot, old. It's, that is the progression of, of age. <laughs> My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? Oh. Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? The circle of life. Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Mamma Mia. I want to forget Salmonella. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Nothing. I'm an attorney. Your badge looks new. This is who Mr. White called to get you arrested in case two. Oh, that's cute. It's all connected. I polish it daily. Why would you say that to someone, Phoenix? In a few years, the gold plating will flake off. Then we'll see the real you. Uh-oh. Oh. Gah! Whatever happened to innocent small talk? Give it three years. Then we'll see what you have become. Uh-oh. Uh, <clears throat> I'll take the case. Hmm. There's something you should know from the start. Which is... The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's de deposition. Oh, the witness clearly saw me committing the crime. My, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? She murdered a man, Phoenix! The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. This is a different chief prosecutor, this is a localization mistake. How many chief prosecutors can one district have? You should be more careful when you kill people. Avoid witnesses, that's what I tell my clients. At least two. Well, the body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk. Classy. I was arrested on the spot. Caught red-handed, as it were. My, my. Mm-hmm. It's a Mia, she says. Who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. Gumshoe? A detective? Gumshoe? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. The fandom basically made the old chief arrested for his association with White and Lana got promoted. As far as fandoms go, that 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 checks out. I can see that happening. Nice. R.I.P. Gumfuck. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. Well, it's Joan. Lana follows the Edgeworth tradition that prosecutors wear their wear their suits have to be as loud as possible, and I'm gay for both. Congratulations. Thank you, Joan. By you. Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. How many chief prosecutors can one district have? Three, three, trace, or Roman numeral three. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? It means the police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Lana? Psychomantis? Security camera? Metal Gear? You're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do to the- uh, have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. 
I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. Are we playing One-Eyed Ultimate Werewolf and she's the Tanner? Because what on earth is happening here? How am I supposed to defend this? She's laying it on real thick, is what I'm saying. She's like, I'm the murderer, it was me! I cut myself by murdering a man. I'm guilty. I too am a terrible criminal. She's so silly. Murdering a man is just the silliest thing you can do. Just a silly little guy. Time to change the, su the subject. She was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Thank you, Weep. Have a good one. Relation to Mia. Ah, uh, you were in school with Mia, correct? I'm just a silly little goblin, Your Honor. A few years above her. Emma told you that too, didn't she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It was in law school. I was in my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Hmm? Excuse me? They're gay, Your Honor? Intellectually attracted. Lana was top of her class in school. Thank you, Emma. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school, too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright. Excuse me. As you can plainly see, I'm admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But Lana... You... You were always this way, weren't you? They're hitting us with the gut punch music. You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I... I hate you, Lana. Mr. Wright? B yes I believe our discussion here is ended. The rest... I leave to you. I'll take the case? Uh, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all the case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana's confessed to the crime. Yes. They gave her like four sprites. <laughs> I know. Every part of this case so far is like, damn, the budget. The, 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 the DS's chip. They're like, yeah! More sprites! 3D models, but something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here, and I'm going to find out what. Yeah, budget's crazy, but like, obviously the, the sprites and stuff are still very well matched to the art from the rest of the game. It doesn't feel jarring. It's just, if I didn't know that this was new to the DS, I'd be like, huh, that's weird, but... Because chat told me I'm just, like, hyper-aware of, like, yeah, this... This probably wasn't on the Game Boy Advance, huh? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. Lana begins self-destructive after her girlfriend got murdered. <laughs> I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. This game really uh, uh, categorizes all prosecutors as bad, doesn't it? Like, prosecution is not an inherently evil job. <laughs> like, they, they just, it's like, if you are a prosecutor, you are a vicious, vile person who will do anything to get the job done. And it's like, eh. I mean, you could argue the same thing about defense. It's not the same, but like, I don't know. In Japan, California, yeah. They dress several times as series matures. That's good, good to know, Todd. It's simply trying to screw over innocent people. Right! Within the context of this, it's always the prosecution's like, we got three days, well, let's get done in one, moving on, next case, we don't have time. So, like, it, 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 it's, it's well contextualized, but it is still just like, everyone, you, they, you're, they were so nice, and then they became a lawyer. <laughs> it's, like, it's a game about lawyers, come on, what happened to her? 
I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she. Well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. All lawyers are bad, yeah. Insert joke about lawyers here. Pick one of 50 billion. Let's go check out this p underground parking at the office, shall we? Okay. Da -ba -da -ba -ba. Better call Phoenix. Yeah. One of these moons I'll finish that show. February 22nd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. So this is the lot where it all happened? Hey, Viz, what's up? How you doing? Viz is upset. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey, everyone, keep up the good work. Not finishing lawyer show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You and Gam and Matt all just yelling at me. Uh, what are you thinking? Well, they're gonna be my coworkers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know, attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying to not stand out too much here, see? Hey there! You expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? Well, it ain't Gumshoe, because he says pal. Who the hell says partner? Pard- pardon? 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 Partner? What do we have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. Uh, Mr. Marshall? <laughs> Marshall looks more like a sheriff to me. Phoenix? The fuck is a kilometer? Cacao! Looky here, Bambina, I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, and the gold mine is evidence. If you're fixing to mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. Sir, this is inappropriate behavior for a crime scene or parking lot, either. You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream you want to? What's this guy talking about? You heard you had a long home now. Happy trails, Bambina. Did this guy get kicked out of Overwatch being after a sex pest blizzard employee? Yes, correct. He's drunk, Your Honor. Was that uh Ombre, a friend of yours? Kind of, sorta. Of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems? Do cacti dream of desert sheep? Desert sheep just made me think of the sheep wearing sombreros in Mario Odyssey. Uh, okay, let's uh, poke around. Hey, a door. Hey, chat, look, a ladder. Look, a door! This must mean something. Not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open. A mysterious lock. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Is it a ladder or a step ladder? Let's find out. Aha! A ladder. All ladders have steps, but all, not all ladders are step ladders, chat. Come on. That's a step ladder. Ah, oh, fuck. Well. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. S scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This seems so horribly familiar somehow. Please, no. Thank you. Hey, event. Maybe they're sus. It's only step ladder if they remarried, right? Here's a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. That might be important, though. Uh... This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Maybe it's both? Kind of a dual purpose? Aha, the theory of relativity. A two-way street is not the theory of relativity. What? Huh? I've got to write this down. Ah, hey, Mr. Wright. Maybe you know. Was Mr. Relativity German or was he British? 
Einstein? You calling Einstein Mr. Relativity? Mr. Relativity. Are you sure that was his name? Emma, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like, it's like she memorized the Wikipedia article for science, but didn't click any links. God, what is her deal? What's this, a wallet? Excuse me, officer? Wait! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. She's 15. Thank you, Anonymous. You have to get sub to Mr. Relativity. Of course that account existed. Thank you. She's 15. 15 is old enough to know Einstein's name. I don't care. She's in, she's in high school. How is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Like that's a first for Phoenix at a crime scene. Stolen wallet, hastily stuffed in a pocket. I'm called to duty already, and at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now, look at the court record. Uh huh. No, oh, it's on him. Okay. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Let's start examining from every angle. Um, I can, oh, 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 ooh, oh, oh, I thought that was pixel art. Wow. Neat. Hold on. Uh, what we got? Look, I think there might be a clue there. You should check it out. Press the examine button. I get, you moved my cursor, so you have to... This, this is an ID card. Ghost Trick Axe Music. Detective Bruce Goodman, ID number 5842189. See, well, isn't scientific investigation useful? Your scientific investigation amounts to opening up someone's wallet. I guess, I don't see what science has to do with it. Is it slipping, Jimmy? Goodman's ID added to the court record. Power of science. Can we swap sc scream and examining? Yes. Yes, yell at me when I when I forget. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, uh, boop, and then, uh, boop, and then, yep. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. Look, a stylish glass-walled room. Very nice. You can see the whole parking lot from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe? Cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. I hate to break it to you, but I think that's probably just a security guard office. Can you 3D examine the step ladder? No. Examine the bat. Wait, I can? You know I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. I'd say damn, but like... He's onto something. Aha! A ladder. Shit. Nah. So the court record. I cannot examine. I can check. I okay. All right. Okay. Sure. Oh. Two three six eight one. It's just like Les Mis. Yeah. So this is what the back of the badge looks like. I always wondered. You ever wondered what the back of an attorney's badge looked like? Bam! And I always thought it had a safety pin. Each badge has a number carved into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? No, I'd be found out right away. Well, that's no fun. That's the whole point. Jean Valjean, do not forget my name. 23581. Enhance! Yeah, look at that, look at that. This looks great. I've taken the case. Okay. Yeah. Eight, five, eight, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. An oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. 
Your time is up and your parole's begun. The drama over here is on its side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in here and do a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. 526,600... Close. Look down. Uh, 3D examine the autopsy record when we get to it. What? I'm not sus? Yeah. Not at all. Whoa! Hey, whoa! Well, no time to waste. Let's go hunting for clues. I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. <laughs> this fucker guy. Did you forget my name? Hey, Javier died. <laughs> How you doing? 3.1415. The Sheriff! Like I said before, this here's our claim. You best be moseying along, unless you're fixing a bite the bullet. Yeah, scary. Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Go, go. Well, well. The little filly's got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides that red Mustang with the body in her saddle, huh? Please! No problem, partner. About time for vittles anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. I feel like Emma's gonna be like, see, there is a cafe. Might just find you a cerveza you like. He probably pronounces it Curveza. Prospector's office? Where does this guy think he is and when, for that matter? Note to self, look up Vittles Saloon Cerveza. <laughs> Maybe we should check out room 1202. The High Prosecutor's Office. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off our claim. Right, great. This is LA, we are in the West, yeah. Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Excuse me? What are you two all set? Us? Hello? What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. Hello. Half and half, was it? Uh, thanks. And you, sir? Y yes? Some crunchy goodness coming at you. But, uh, oh boy, tasty donuts. Traditional American bento. <laughs> like, crunchy goodness? Like, what? I, I, I. I feel like the localizers were like, we can't call that anything. We just have half and half and crunchy goodness. <laughs> Interesting way of doing business. This area's off limits to anyone without clearance, especially passers-by. Or are you officers? Uh, no, but you, you don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as the cough-up queen are over. The what? Ma'am? <laughs> Cough up, huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? So many frames of it. I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of that detective. I stabbed a man right in the stomach. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up, queen. Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it. I'll have you whimpering at my heels, madam? Yes, ma'am. Yipe, she means it. Yeah. Do not forget my name. I'm not gonna forget anything. I'm an attorney. A defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about tackling Lunchland's Pickle Supreme Lunchbox? Wow, a bento filled with nothing but pickles. My favorite. Look at that. 
Wow, it's really crunchy. A box of pickles? Kind of a sad lunch if you ask me. Pickles on rice. About this card. Lunchland vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? That's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? Because you are, although I don't know why she's being so harsh. Hi. The case. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know them. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. Evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the name of innocence. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce! So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this uh, evil? Den of Inequity is a good name for a police station. <laughs> Welcome to the den. Youngness, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough up queen. You. The most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear, this lunch lady is a thing against prosecutors. And she's a witness to a murder against the detective. And is wishing harm against them. Seems like a bad idea. What you witnessed? If this is Edgeworth... <laughs> We're gonna go back to the detention center and Edgeworth's just back there like, like, look. I can explain, but I don't want to. What exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Of course. It's quite a feat, becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? I don't understand her kid. Her, her interests are A, lunch, and B, evil. And she manages to mention both in every sentence. She always travels light. Now why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Angel. Did somebody say Chief Prospector? Yeehaw! It does realize anything if there's many sprites and they want a DS card, she's going ham. Yeah, right? Could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No? Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General Cell's trilobite lunch set. Y'all eating trilobites? <laughs> Never mind, you win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a trilobite's flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. Oh, she's got a jelly donut in her hat. You're right. Looks good. That's just grilled mackerel. That's a trilobite. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? Phoenix just rips his fucking papers in half and storms off. See the security room over there? What was the, the show? There's the, the, uh, there's a show that uh, Matt Berry was in, the actor. And there's a montage of every time he's helping a lady, and then she mentions her boyfriend, and then she, he storms off. And it's, it's fucking hilarious. Fuck you. Fuck you! 
One of them, he, 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 he's walking her dog for her, and she's like, oh, thank you, my boyfriend. And he just punts the dog, and then kicks another random dog as he runs off. And it's very funny. Anyway. Follow that. Um, see the security room over there? The glass walled booth. I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Snuffbox, maybe. Might be. I knew someone was going to say that. Nah, Snuffbox, yeah. Just look up Snuffbox, Matt Berry, boyfriend? Probably. It's worth your time, I promise. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So to be, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not! Thank you, Phoenix. New York City. Emma's glasses are very good. Did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Ha, perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like 10-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. No, Tom, no. I mean, now you're talking, cough up queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess we'll go upstairs. That is quite gaudy. Okay. February 22nd, High Prosecutor's Office. Room 1202. Is that Edgeworth's jacket on the wall? Looks like it. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look! There's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, he must be a real stuck-up jerk. Mr. Phoenix Wright? You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. God. Damn it. Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! Mr. Edgeworth? You know him from somewhere? Of course. I'm his biggest fan. I didn't realize that Emma was Tumblr.com. My sister introduced us once and... Right. Her sister was the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. You're telling me? No, no, did I... No. It was just Mr. Wright here, he... Hey, don't blame me. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm? That would be... my car. What of it? What... What is this face he's making? What is this, like, weird, like, half-smile looking to the side, looking back, like, mm, 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 mm. He doesn't know how to smile. <laughs> what is this? He's twitching. He's having a bad time. What? Your car? I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. I, I really, you know... I'm basing this off nothing, right? I don't know the series. I get the sense that they wanted to add this bonus chapter to make the DS version more enticing, whatever. Maybe the devs wanted experience working on the DS. I don't know. Um, it feels like that there was a reason they couldn't just bring Maya back. Like, the second game maybe starts with Maya coming back. And they're like, well, but you gotta have a sidekick who fills in the exact same void that Maya being gone would leave. So they just sort of remade... Instead of spirit medium Maya, it's science investigation Emma. And they're almost the same character. They satisfy the exact same function of staying there and pointing and yelling at everything. And it's great. I'm not... I, I, Emma seems great. It's just... It's it's fun. Science Maya. Yeah. She certainly can't scream. Yes, she can scream. Looks better, Luke. Better Maya. Yeah. Scientifically. Yeah. No ghosts are- you just can't talk about ghosts? That's not very science, Phoenix. Stealing everything not nailed down? Yeah, and encouraging you to break the law. Uh, let me look at your stuff. 
M. Sky the Science Gal. M. Sky the Science This jacket's even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. I like that one because she's purple and talks to ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. <clears throat> Prosecutors. She taught me how to spin my evidence. That's something. That's true. All our months of working together, and Maya not even once asked me to spin something. So Emma gets points. What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K K King of Prosecutors? Ergo. It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for king? Yeah, you got a problem with that. Well, we just met a queen. She's not queen, she's queen of coughing up hairballs or something, but... Eh? I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors. Kind of like employee of the month, only better. It's a potassium trophy. I ate the most bananas at the convention. What of it? King of Prosecutors trophy out of the record. Can I give it a spin? Let me give it a spin. Uh, given to Edgeworth King of Prosecutors of the PD on the day of the murder. Yeah. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Yeah. En enhance. What's this say on there? I can't read. I don't know how to read. Um. Oh, 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 wait, I gotta, gotta, uh, what does that say? Hey, check it out. There's a metal plate here. It looks like the names of all the previous recipients are engraved on it. It's like the Stanley Cup, but for prosecutors? One guy's listed a bunch of times. Von Karma. Guess he must be a foreigner? Uh, yeah, that's probably it. Well, wherever he's from, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. When she says that his name does have kind of a ring to it. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Did he say that at any time? They will take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. And he'll win. Work desk. Yeah. She knows about Miles defending Edgeworth, but doesn't know Von Karma, the prosecutor of the case. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Listen, she, uh, she brushed up on what happened on her way over. Hey, a chessboard! I'm not too up on my chess, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The Red Knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Oh my god, Edgeworth. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. It's... No, no, don't. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And the king's holding an autopsy report. Whoa! These are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Wait, did... Oh, and that's fine. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. Gumshoe. There's foreshadowing for like seven games from now? That's amazing. Why well, a picture Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. Yeah, get him. Hold on. I just wanna... The Red Knights have surrounded the blue pond. Okay, I was like, wait. It is a pawn, right? So, this chess game is over. Blue doesn't have a king left. There's only a pawn. And Edgeworth is still like, yes. Get him. And of course, he couldn't possibly represent Edgeworth as a king. So, that's excellent. 
Oh, cute. What a pretty tea set. I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing, the drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. He's just playing with his dolls, yeah. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead. Wendy. Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. Have I? Beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Oh, old bag. Wendy, old bag. She has a thing for Miles. Wendy, she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Ugh. Uh, I don't think so. Wow! What a view! It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, were you to jump out of this window, the time until impact with the ground would be... Got it! Approximately 3.23 seconds. She's so proud of herself. That's handy to know. <laughs> uh, Miles is just standing there staring at us. Uh... Uh, is that everything? Is that a stepladder? I think that's it. What about the, the curtains? Nope. Yeah, okay. Alright, okay. Nope. Hope this comes clutch in the trial. It's gonna be crucial! Wait. Go back. I must present you with my attorney badge. Miles! I once dreamed of being a defense attorney a long time ago. What? You wanted to be a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth? Yet my path is laid out clearly before me. I have no time to reflect on what might have been. Live old bag reaction. Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright? Uh, what? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, he'll take it for sure, won't he? <sighs> I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm gonna start getting depressed. So in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? He tapped his finger. I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes. Right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Uh, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. The way he's, like, looking off the side, but then, like, steals glances forward. It's very strange for him. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Gumshoe, where Gumshoe lives. He's shy. So the body was found in your car. He has emotions now. It's progress. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. Also, it was technically last year. But it was... It's... It was two months ago. <laughs> it, was, it was... It was... It was... It was almost Christmas, if I recall. And now it's February 22nd, so... Yes, technically last year, but come on. It wasn't Christmas. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Oh, uh, wait. No, she didn't do that. I mean... Technically correct. Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then. Yes, sir. Emma Sky. It, uh... It's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. Now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit it, it was a surprise to me too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. Now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. What did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. 
She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah. Huh. Babies get bigger and grow. Who knew? It's never come up in a case before. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. B what You learned that, but not that your car was involved. That's crazy. Or I guess maybe he did know. The, the way that he reacted to it made it seem like that was news to him, but maybe it wasn't. Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys. That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Is it bronze? Doesn't look like bronze. Okay. Lana Sky. It's true. For example, I think very little berry. Thank you, Tom. That is correct. Bronze can be green. Uh, copper can turn green after a very long time, but... Bronze has copper in it. Rare green bronze. Maybe they just painted it. Spray painted it. The person who owns the car. Gotcha. Bashing on it, yeah. Copper in it. Uh, Chief Prosecutor Scott, yes. We first worked together on the case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. And why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. And with my fingerprints. What? What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Why do you keep a knife like that in your trunk, sir? My scythe. Bronze rusts similar to copper, per a quick Google search. Hmm. It still seems weird to me, but whatever. Uh, Edgeworth's knife. Sometimes you have a stabbing emergency. Yeah, I guess so. For roadside sashimi. Oh no, roadkill. Well, can't let that go to waste. Edgeworth. What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> Come on, can't you take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Sorry. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got... the shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. Exactly. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Edgeworth's parking stub added to the court record. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So he parked and got out and then murdered. The murder happened right after you got back. What, Wright? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um? Who is this cartoon-ass motherfucker? <laughs> Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth, what is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got the report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Skye? I don't like the way this conversation's going at all. 
Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, uh, but sir! I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement with, uh, give me your name! Uh, yes, uh, sir. M Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. The, uh, the, the symbols on his armband are, um, a, it's a drawing of, of a police officer standing there, proud. Because here in Los Angeles, that's how we identify people, was with drawings on their arms to show you who they are. With pecs, yeah. Pecs the size of the house. Yes, sir, Meekins, Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. Mm -hmm. But, sir, I didn't know. Poor guy, looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Miles is being the one who's the jerk. I, I, why would you, what? Phoenix is just all over the place with these... With these asides. Right? Y yes, sir. Guy caught me off guard. He called him sir. He called him sir. <laughs> hey. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Why is he helping me? Okay. Well. Uh, <clears throat> the murder weapon. Traces of victim's blood. Nice. Thank you. No prints. No prints! Okay. Ugh. Save the bits. This is spinning around. Turn your 3D on now. Where? 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 What? What? Where? What? What? Looks like a blade to me. Inspect the blood. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. Edgeworth? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. No, fingerprints. Oh. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now there's a scary thought. I don't know if he's ever been outside without, like, a large, oversized gothic umbrella to protect his pale skin. He whittles? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Miles Edgeworth, 1712. This is the day of the day of the crime. The murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If only he was held up with a couple extra red lights, he wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. Just goes to show you never know what'll happen if you when you run a yellow light. Uh, thank you, Emma. Nothing on the back. This is cute. I, I like inspecting the evidence like this. It's the kind of addition that seems like it should have always been in the game, and it mean. I guess technically now it's here in the first game, but I can understand it being pretty awkward to do with a D-pad on the on the GBA, even if they could technically do something similar. But it makes evidence seem more a little more interactive. Angel Star 31. A uh, finally a character that's not just like 22 like everyone else. She's 29. Emma's 16. Emma she's 30. All right. Uh, we're good. Oh, thanks, Marky. 
How you doing? Thanks for the soup months. I'm back. Uh, I'm busy preparing for tomorrow, and I'm not in the mood for idle banter. Especially not with you. Let's go, Mr. Wright. Fine, I'll just have to talk to him when he perks up. Bye. Uh, what do you know about a knife? Could you take a look at this? You! Yes. You said you wanted some hot tea, right? No, but thanks. She didn't even look at me. Mmm, you must have to brew the leaves a long time to get rich flavor like this. We pre-infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite. The only thing I'm smelling here is wasted time. Sheesh. What about this? Could you take a look at this? You! You want some tea? No, alright. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. You're not helping. Alright, bye. To the department. Oh, hey, look, it, there's the, the adorable police mascot that when I looked at it in an earlier case, all of chat was panicking. I wouldn't know anything about that. It's a nice track. The OST is really good, Viz. Woo! We're finally here. Why would they put the detectives so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi and traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hold on. What's that? Disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? Undulate's a good word for that. Oh, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. Hey, pal! What are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? But, uh, well... At least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. He was dancing. He was feeling it! I was wondering about that. But what, what? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. He. <laughs> I don't know why it makes it that much funnier that he was dancing with it if he made it. No, 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 no. You made this detective gumshoe? The chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery powered so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances till the batteries die. Does it tell the time, too? Poor Blue Badger faded to dance until he drops. Blue Badger added to the court record. Oh, no. Oh, no. Work of art. Uh. Uh. At least you don't have to spin it around in 3D. That patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. Then I said, hey, you do that, your soup will get cold, buddy. That's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. I guess soup is always funny. I guess he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his eyes. They make a good pair. It's the, it's the, it, the, the, they're from Ghost Trick. Yeah, they are. Mr. Wright, do you know why patrol cars are painted black and white? No idea. Why? Well, I think they're designed after a panda. Soup jokes. Pfft. Thank you. A, a panda. Not that I have scientific proof, it's just a theory. Do you mind me asking how you came up with that theory? It was when I was on a school trip. I saw a patrol car and it came to me. We had just been at the zoo, see? What about zebras? Or do they not have those at your zoo? No further questions, Your Honor. I always get excited when I come to the police station. Why is that? It just feels like I've jumped into a movie. Huh? You know, with all the police and criminals. Well, I don't know if this is all that exciting. Sure it is. Look at all those two... Look at those two officers over there. They're probably talking about the latest bust. Funny, I thought they were talking about the weather. And soup. 
The detectives in there look pretty busy. Just imagine right now, behind those doors, a police drama in action. Somehow the thought fails to excite me. It's also probably a lot of paperwork. They're talking about busts. Pandas have pseudo thumbs. Like they have like little thumbs, but they're not like grabby thumbs. Hmm. The usual wanted posters are hanging up on the bulletin board here. Do you know this face? If you do, dial 911. You know, Mr. Wright, I've always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people in those posters. They hardly even look human. She has a point. Oh, they're just meant to highlight distinguishing features. I don't- listen, I don't know. The banner here is announcing the crime fighting campaign. Nice slogan. I wonder if they'll be selling fingerprinting sets. I don't think it's that kind of campaign. What family wouldn't want a set at home? It's good for finding out who snuck into the cookie jar. I think most families can figure that out without the extra help. Man. Can we see the badger again? Why? Yeah. Ugh. You made this? I made this. Nice work. No, never again. He's a friend! Hey, Dick. I'm a- I'm an attorney. Detective, here's my attorney's badge. He shows to me every time we meet, pal. Real men show their police badge. Enough said. I wish I had a badge. I wish had badge. Even an ID card would be nice. Wait. Speaking of ID cards, I found a detective's card, didn't I? Hmm? Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. But don't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Wow, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's what I thought. Okay, tell us more, Detective Gumshoe. I wish had badge. Why say lot word when few word do trick? Why say many word when few word do trick? That's it. That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. We at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. So is it like a statue with a big D on it? Diligence? Are, are you like, are you, are you like the, the prince of diligence? Or like a duke? Does it go down from king? I enjoy saying many words. Many words can be good. Sometimes. He got the D. It's like, it's like a, a, a broken shield. So it's like a hand gripping a cylindrical object. And it has a big letter D on it. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Uh, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. He's even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we heard about the rumors. Diligence and King. <laughs> DK. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Well, I mean, I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um, someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. Mentally solving Phoenix with 16 with this one? Oh, man. Phoenix down. When? The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stab with Mr. Edgeworth's knife. What would drive her to do the thing? There we go. It's the same. What happened? Tell me about the blue badger. As a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut on that one. I know better than to go blabbing on about things I don't know about. No, I wouldn't want you to do that either. Good. Hmm. Okay. He wasn't arrested again. Not yet. There's still time. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. 
She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office, and she killed him. What if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. Against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Huh, me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Well, the chief prosecutor's little sister. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, by the way. You might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? The blue badger. He's listening. It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. Okay. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being lent to criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. Isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Marshall. Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. Patrolman in charge of the crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. Hmm. Night, Duke. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. This ID card belonged to the victim? He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. He was a Goodman. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot and lost confessing as much. Mm -hmm. Sanctimonious Barry. Me. The white spy? Yeah. He's in a tough spot again. Again. Pray. I remember. It all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Edgeworth was found is innocent. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department's higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. No idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case to start a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who was, uh, what was his name? The guy in the parking lot, Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the chief of police. Marshall, is he some kind of Wild West sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer from West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. You know, th that's what that's what everyone's like on the West. Y you go out, you go out in them, them there hills near Beverly Hills, and then everyone out there is rooting, tooting cowboy. Go out it was Santa Monica. It, can't walk for all the horse manure in the streets. Just like the old West. Uh, look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene, maybe. Joking the Japanese version was his name sounded like Simon. What's the joke there? Can't confirm, I'm the horse. 
He was just from America? Probably. Simon's an English name. Simon D's nuts. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hollywood, yeah. He's just an actor. Simon, your mom! The joke is his name sounds like Simon. That's not a joke. I mean, there might be a joke there, but... What an American name. He's a method actor. I don't get it. <laughs> Simon says, hold it. Letter of introduction from Gumshoe adds a correct record, but he's not in this case. So how would this help us? I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. I guess we're all just like, yeah, we might as well. His Japanese name is Zaimon, and Nick thought was he was American. Because he's a cowboy? I'm a little confused. Uh, just act like you're supposed to be there. Nobody will look at you twice, pal. That's rule number one of crime scenes. Just look like you belong there. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks for this. The joke is just America, man. Right, that makes sense. As a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut on that one. I know better than to go blabbing on about things I don't know about. No, I wouldn't want you to do that either. Good. Can't imagine you would ever say anything off the cuff. Give it a spin! Neom. Neom. What's that? Hey, look here. It looks like something's been erased. Not erased, just X'd out. It was a letter or something to Detective Gumshoe. Let's see. Annual bonus, $20. I think a couple zeros are missing. No, that sounds about right. At least in that detective's case. Maybe I should rethink my career as an investigator. Oh, Gumshoe. His salary was cut up so many times. Okay. Alright, goodbye. In this economy, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we're going back. February twenty second, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. Bam, bam, bam. Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams tonight, then, baby. Oh! Still here? Hello! Why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too! What happened to the security guard? Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd! Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Kind of reminds me of, of spirit tracks. Like western vibes with like a flute. Anyway. Yeah, there. <laughs> I, lo I, I, I love seeing Edgeworth playing instruments. Thank you, chat. Um. Hold on. Hold on. First things first. Get a load of this. He's a reverse weeb? Yeah. All right, compadre, count to three. Huh? You gotta do that if you're gonna draw evidence on someone. That's what we do in Texas. Place from West LA. Remind me never to visit Texas. Thank you, Phoenix. Hey, thanks for the bit time, babe. It's high noon. Time for a five minute recess. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right to the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, that old cow dog? Hmm. He holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Ah, I, I think he just miswrote it. Great, Detective Gumshoe, I owe you one. No worries, this proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. Guess I'll better let you in, then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Officer Marshall isn't a detective, he's a patrolman. That reminds me of something. That is odd. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settler, strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny, let's have a hootin' nanny. 
Note to self, police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. Gumshoe's letter of introduction, crumpled and discarded. He's just saying stuff. He just, he's just saying things. All right, let's take a look. Show me that car. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. I like the muffled version of this song. Someone's riding a horse next door. You can hear it. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Shooting lines from the hip. Quite a luxury car, just screams, I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Nope. This looks like a cell phone. A what? It's a new type of electronic device for communication. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Oh yeah, I think so. Big iron on his heel. Right, let's check it out. Okay. 2017 flip phones, yeah. Is that the antenna or a phone charm? Man, what a boring strap. It's a strap. Looks like the kind where the antenna where you'd, you'd pull it out. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know. Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. These are hard to come by, you know. I see he's as popular as ever with the kids. Good old uh, Mr. 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 Power. What was his name? Hmm. Who are they flipping? Flipping the phone. Oh, oh, it's a newer model. It doesn't have a, uh, an extendo antenna up on top. How do I open it up? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hmm. The display is still on the redial button. Redial? Will Powers, that's the one. Mr. Wright, most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. You just press the blue button to dial the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Can Emma's goddamn streamer overlay get off the screen? I don't need this picture in picture constantly, madam. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. She's called Phoenix a boomer. Whatever, let's check this phone out. She's a PNG tuber. Well, if you forget what she looks like, fair. I stand corrected. Redial. Now, I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. That's correct. Beep. Oh, shit. He was on hold with KK Slider? All it's, all it's missing is like a... Hey! That song! I know that! Am I a defense attorney because I hit buttons without thinking? Yep. This used to be my ringtone? That's excellent. Hey, what's going on over there? KK Steel Samurai. Yeah, KK Samurai. Uh, uh, sorry. I see you, partner. Screens! You're right. Sorry. Thank you. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? This is currently your ringtone. Well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. What? My sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody, right after the crime. The Chief Prospector. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except, she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ring tunes. Uh, that, uh, uh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. 
But what Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. Wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. I have incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. What a coincidence. Phoenix, are you dumb? Yes. Hey, what's this on the, on the wall here? It says, ah. Uh. A block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are relegated to B block. I dream of the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. Not planning on giving up my job that soon. Hmm. Hamburgers do sound good, though. Good old burger time. B block is through there. That's where visitors park. And def wow, visitors share. Defense attorneys have to fight for spots with the visitors. That's 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 pretty brutal. I can see the lunch land car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down a juicy looking steak. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Just don't think too deeply about it and you'll be fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Second class citizens. Yeah. B block. Yeah. Um. It's a rope, is it? Yep. They laid in the outline of the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You've got to be the only person to know that would come to that conclusion. He... L listen, listen, he, he was stabbed, yes. But you can see that he only died when it went chomp on him, and he went, ah! So he's, he's fine. There's nothing to do with anything else. Um... The rope, yeah. The trunk is bladed. Yeah. Is there anything else? The car. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. Don't see anything else. And Marshall's gone. No, he's not. He's right there. Could I ask about the phone, I guess? Is this the final case? Yep. My sister's cell phone. The last time it was used was 518, right after Goodman was killed. Maybe she was canceling her date for the night? Might have to make that call. Why? I want you to look at the blue badger, sir. Prospector's bright red steed came in in a trot, real slow like. A trot? My Madonna tells me the crime occurred three minutes later. So it seems the tree prospector was lying in wait. Maybe waiting for a prince, prince to ride in on his bright red horse. What you mean is the killer intended to use Edgeworth's car all along. Hmm. She called to brag about the sick murder. Okay, alright. What about this? A toy shield suits the boy well. What exactly could you shield with that? A toy knight, maybe? Officer Marshall, don't you have anything good to say about Mr. Edgeworth? You don't like him, right? We get the point. You know, when I was a detective, I got one of these. Let me guess. Did it have a K for King of Detectives on it? Hey, they could use the same shield over and over. Note to self, the prosecutor's office and criminal affairs are surprisingly cheap. You know it! They've gotten cheaper with every passing year, I tell you. Hmm. What's that? Some sort of police passport? This is Detective Goodman's ID card. Strangely enough, we found it a good distance away from the crime scene. Good distance in this rat hole? If you want distance, get yourself to Texas! Yeah, Texas. This is a tiny little crime scene. It's a tiny little town with tiny little evidence. What difference does a few yards make, compadre? And then like Yosemite Sam, he's just pow, pow, pow. Note to self, if you encounter suspicious evidence, think of Texas. There's no better way to study than to hang out with the pros. Small town of Los Angeles. Yeah. Texas. 
Texas. I see your badge. Looks pretty round. Our badge is a star, a lone star, shining in the nighttime sky. A beam of light, illuminating evildoers who come in the dark of night. Note to self, evildoers are weak against starlight. Yeah. That's like half the lyrics of the Sailor Moon theme song. That's a sheriff's badge! That sure is. But it's a sheriff's badge. Yeah, that's not a... Not a patrolman badge. Mm. Uh... The victim! Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed right here at 515. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stab to the chest, a fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Autopsy report added to the court record. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prospector Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common. They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. Thank you for the bits. Make sure you don't die. Wait a minute, I'm like 85 years old. Thank you. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why I didn't do much work with the Chief Prospector. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? To this parking lot? So it seems, like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. Um, I don't mean any offense. Maybe a little offense, but... Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective? You call me out, they shoot you for that in Texas. What don't they shoot you for in Texas, huh? I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago, tell you the truth. Really, now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Every, I could fix him, stop it. Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason, we're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's odd though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog. That can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, huh? Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? How dare he insult Gummy? Not Gumby. So there's no connection between Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but... There's a gold mine of evidence against her. And the prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? Thank you for the five bucks, five, 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 five leisure. Appreciate it, thank you. Thanks for enjoying the VODs too. Hmm. I've never heard anyone say Bambina outside this game. I mean, I've heard the phrase before, but I could not possibly tell you if I've seen it in like a show or something. I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through the prospector's office. They had hamburgers together. Then it was serious. Dry wind or ill will, someone's up to something here, but who? Phoenix is sus, but he doesn't know what to point at. I didn't mean to fit that again. This is why I should use the D-pad instead of my big old thumb. Meh. Cowpoke music stops. Cow wrestling music record scratches. Suspicion about Mr. Edgeworth have... Suspicions have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence, arranging testimonies, you name it. He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. The rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. 
If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you can find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person. Who? Bambina. It's your sister. Chief Prospector Lana Sky. Reach for the Lana Sky. My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. You saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? Who do I talk to now? Uh... Let's check the autopsy report. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. It's kind of early. That seems very significant. That we have a really wide window. Huh. Okay. Uh, Bruce Goldman, 36 male. Time of death. February 21st between 4 and 5.30. They said he was killed at 5.15. But also they said that it took him a long time to die. And that gives us a window of 15 minutes, which is not that long. Cause of death, loss of blood from chest wound. Assessment, wound was caused by a 12 centimeter knife. Single stab wound was found. Just the one stab wound. Okay. Eh? All right, compadre, count to three. Uh, never mind, goodbye. Uh, okay. Is there anything more we can say to Edgeworth? I don't know. He's not here. Great. Good. Goodbye. Maybe we could go back to... talk to Lana. And she's also gone. Excellent. Then in that case, maybe we can talk to Gumshoe. Nope. Didn't... Nope. Maybe. Presenting you with this updated autopsy report. As a detective, I have to keep my mouth shut. Well then, shoot. Okay. Steals fancy jacket. Emma's gonna try to. Hmm. See this? Ah, I've noticed that defense attorneys have a tendency to want to show people things. What is this? A behavioral study of lawyers? Uh -huh. There's a snake in my autopsy report. Somebody poisoned the autopsy report. Can I show you any of these? Uh. Okay, then what am I. M Did I miss evidence at the scene? Yep. It's not for sale yet. What else could I do? Hmm. I did miss something very important right there. What's this? Looks like a note of some some sort. Something's written on it. Ah, June seventy fifth, the day of the murder. 6-7-S 12-2 There's a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, what does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Note to self, for detective reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. Maybe. There's an autopsy in my report in my boot. In my update. So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? The only thing still bothering me is that Lana's confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? No. It's the Steel Samurai theme song, isn't it? 
that popular TV show for kids. The phone that just rang wasn't mine. It was yours. At 518, just after the murder took place, your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. Cell phone out of the court record. Yeah. The detective is murdered, and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Oh, I definitely don't know what went on here. To be continued. Right now. Boo -do 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 -do. To be continued right after I get caught up on alerts. Uh, FTS Rage, thanks for two months. Welcome back. God, I hate ads. Same. Thanks for subbing. Hope you don't get any ads now. Uh, enjoy your bronze key and the emotes. Mick Canug, thanks for 17 months. Anonymous gifted a sub to Mr. Relativity, and Toaster Posey gifted a sub to Einstein. And Warren Kim's Azir gifted a sub to Dr. Relativity. He didn't spend 18 years getting a degree to be called Mr. Relativity. Yeah, I can do that too. Smash Man, thanks for 69 bits. In the Japanese version, Mike Meekin spoke in an overly polite dialect, so much so his dialogue would break out of the dialogue box. That's great. Uh, Marquis, thanks for 64 months in a tier two. Here's to a Nintendo amount of months with the best berry there is. Uh, one day I will return to a live stream, but alas, back to Vodlandia I go. Thank you for the continued support, Marquis. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. And hope you enjoy the VODs. Garbage Nirvana, thanks for soup. Jokes. Roxby, give the sub to Captain J0098. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you, Roxby. Evbay, thanks for 100 bits. It's high noon. Time for a courtroom duel. I mean, it's 9.34 a.m., but, you know, close enough. Uh, uh, thy Scythe. Thanks for eight months. Thanks for the prime. Thy Scythe. Thy Scythe. Thy Thy Mice. Smash me, thanks for 100 bits. Marshall says, good men die young. Make sure you don't die. That's why I drink some water. Uh, five Leisure, thanks for the five bucks. Glad to see you streaming another one of my fave series. Watching the VODs has been a blast. Thank you again. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it's Joe, thanks for 86 bits. Marshall, there's a snake in my autopsy report. In Ebbe, there's an autopsy in my report in my boot. Yeah. I'm evil, so I'll live forever. There you go. Uh, February 23rd, 9.34 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby, number two. I want a poll. How do you spaghetti, in a bowl or on a plate? Oh, God. I'm not sharing my opinion. Uh, let me, let me get that. Is there, is there, is there a mod around, or I can do it real quick? I just want to make sure I'm not going to be doing it at the same time as a mod. Eat. Cool. How do you eat spaghetti? Yeah. My bare hands like a man. I just grab into the boiling pot the moment the noodles get tender. And I just eat it like a man. How do you eat your sketty? Uh on a bowl. In a in a bowl. In a bowl. On a that's on a plate. There you go. I use a salad bowl plate thing. You can't just say yes to both. A bowl or a plate, yes. Straight out the pot. <laughs> Alright. Whatever someone serves it to me on option. No. I live alone. Who's gonna judge me? Everyone I tell it to publicly. Uh, how we doing? Hello? Hello? How, are we back? Are we refre refresh? Maybe. That was weird. Hi. I did die young. It's true. The f it was fated to happen. The stream was murdered. Uh, that was weird. It literally went from stream fine to just stream is disconnected and then it reconnected. <laughs> I'm like, cool. So that'll be fun if the VOD is split up into two parts. Anyway, hi. You missed literally half a second. It was it was like down and back. Uh, hi. We're gonna we're gonna continue the case. That's the stream for Prince. It was dead, but it's back. Uh, rather the whole thing is a big gray area. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. It's too uh, no. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. 
It's fine. I got two video ads at the same time. No! Mithra. This for 61 months. It's your three. Can't believe I got pinged twice by the wonderful Barry, SMH, and working, but you're great friend. You're great! Mithra, hope you're doing good. Thank you so much. Uh, stream's back. Um, remind me to stream what I miss. Uh, we investigated... <laughs> I didn't mean for stream to go down, um, but the, the we uh, we got uh, we investigated. We got a new case. It is two months since the last case, and uh, we we have a uh, bu, um, a what bu, bu, what you call it a murder murder trial. So this right here is our client Lana Sky, chief prosecutor of the district. She claims she murdered a man, and all the evidence and a witness point to her killing a man. And now we have to defend her in trial. So, I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. The body was in Edgeworth's car, stabbed with his knife. Correct. I'm ready to accept my fate. Stream is real late today. We've been going for a while, but I don't know. Just don't worry about it. 50% says they eat sketty on a plate, and 50% said bowl. Hmm. I did have spaghetti and I ate in a bowl. There you go. It's fine. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yes? A defense attorney should never believe their client. The defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. I'm not going to trust the word of a prosecutor and how I should treat my client, but thank you. Miss Sky, you... You remind me a lot of Mia. But there is one decisive difference between you and her. And that is... Boobs. I, you're not a defense attorney. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. Hotted tits. Great big ones. My first trial without a fay helping me. No one's going to bail me out this time. I'll be alone in there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be with you the whole way. You won't be alone. You and me, together. A team. Wright and co. You, us, together. February 23rd, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number nine. You're a prosecutor, I don't believe you. Yeah. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defendant is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. We don't need the commentary, Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Not you assholes again. I haven't been in court since Edgeworth's trial. It's been a while now. No spoils. You posting memes in the Discord. Yeah, but if it is a spoiler for a future uh, Ace Attorney, I still ask you to be mindful and, and spoiler tag and stuff, because... Plenty of people are experiencing this for the first time along with me. I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of the proceedings today, Mr. Wright. Meh. I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what those around me might say. The judgment to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Unless that was your opening statement. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office lot. Wow, he's much more forceful in person. I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. However, she will now pay for her rashness with her life. There was a witness to her crime. A professional witness. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Star, to the stand. The cough-up queen? None taken. Hmm? Haven't I seen you somewhere? You ordered the caviar lunch, right? Oh, -ho, caviar! I've never eaten caviar before! Judge is really wolfing it down. Um, 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 um. This is guilty of being delicious! And for you, I have a fiesta bowl. I mean, it, it looks like rice with like... I don't know, like panko or maybe like seaweed. No, it's a fiesta bowl. It's 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 rice and uh, melted cheese. Uh, thanks. Will the witness state her name and profession? Uh, and you, sir? Did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? 
It is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. V.S. the bowl. Correct. Ah, bribes. Well, your honor, how does it taste? So this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty, it hurts. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> it hurts. Mm. Ah. Ah. And then he perishes. I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. What the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Name! Profession! Now! Me, the name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it! I find myself running Lunchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. I've been murdered by food! Judge discovers his seafood allergy. <laughs> In the middle of court. The prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. Mm -hmm. Hurry it up. Mm -hmm. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Uh, what exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Star was a special investigator with the police. She was a first-rate homicide detective. Uh, you think that would have come up in our conversation with her. But what? Miss Star was a detective? Ah! Oh, mm. That was good caviar. I, I know who you are. Cough up? Cough up Queen Angel Star, your honor. Long time no see. Case dismissed. I mean, uh, very well. You may continue your with the description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over here. Yes. Ah, a map. The parking lot of the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor spaces, yes? It's not rated T? Yeah, it seems rated T for teen. Eh. There's a big old T for titty. Right there on the box. It's right there. How'd you miss it? The crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car's trunk. B for block and A for area. Solve for A. I know I wouldn't- I know, Kick- yeah, Thank you, Kick Cat. My, my, my point was not that I'm not sharing my opinion. My point is I'm not getting into it today. <laughs> We've already been down that rabbit hole. We have cases to solve. T to a T. B for Booba. The killer stabbed the victim with a knife and went to drive the body out. Thank you for posting the clip, though. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and an arrest was made on the spot. Thank you. And who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. The floor plain side of the court record. Witness. Did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, your honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. Seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright. Uh, I can't agree on principle, your honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, your honor. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. Crush away. Are they talking about me? You don't have that authority anymore, ma'am. Yeah, but you used to. Therefore, you're reliable. What is account? I bet it's an entirely new stream. Hey, we welcome. This is a brand new stream. No, the stream didn't go down for 0.2 seconds and then ping everyone again. I don't know what you're talking about. Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. When I sent something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective instincts working. Then, through a wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. Can't wait to press her on that. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Hmm. Mm. Got any more of that caviar? Bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touching. A lunchbox. At five o'clock. Hmm. As you can see, there is no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than... 
the point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I'm still thinking about that. It's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. I just saw Monty Python and the Holy Grail, so I'm trying to weave in references as naturally as I can. Is it working? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. Your arm's off. Just a flesh wound. Somehow I always knew a day like this would come. A day where I save to make sure I don't fuck up. Yeah, I knew this day would come too. Just cause. No, it isn't. It's right there. Uh, how did you always... How did you know a day like this would come? It's just a flesh wound. We are the knights who say, Ni! Ni! Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. I'll hydrate. Thank you, Kekat. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. You're welcome. The lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. He is so smug about that. Prosecutors are the worst. I uh, thank you. <laughs> Given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim. Hey, attack frog. Glad, love to hear it. Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Oh, fuck you too. <laughs> Miss Starr, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I'd found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off? She was fired. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. That said, I am a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. Very well. You may continue, Miss Starr. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. You had lunch at 5.15? What kind of lunch is that? Did he have an American hamburger bento? With an extra side of, uh, uh, of riced french fries? The rice, it looks like rice, but it's actually a different type of french fry. Whole bit! <laughs> Home Depot, drill bit! This boyfriend, he's the detective? Not that boyfriend, the security guard. That boyfriend? You have several? Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. I'll stick with the lunch, thanks. Note to self, the judge had to think before replying. I like that she's always smiling while she writes down her notes. The security guard room is in the lot and in a block. It's up on the second level so you can see everything from there. That would be the room with the security sign that Emma thought was a cafe for some reason. Incidentally, did you bring your lunchboxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. So she was in B block when she witnessed the crime. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective instincts. Wait, if she was from B block, she couldn't have witnessed the crime. If she stabbed him against the car, she would have only seen everything from behind. Because the car was pointing B block, car, then them. So this is already bad. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective instincts working. Drill bit. Ned Flanders diddles dot gif. He's dancing. B block car. Halibut. You sensed something. You're saying you had a premonition of the murder? It felt like. How would you say? Oh, yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. I have no idea what that means. Speaking of a detective's instincts, wasn't the victim, Mr. Bruce Goodman, also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. A young cheese? 
A pale white cheese, not yet tangy, with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. Your metaphors are being mixed quite deliciously, madam. Hmm. I, of course, am hard, yellowed, sharp as a tack. I bet you stink, too. In any case, there in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Then, through a wire fence, I, sh I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. Hi. Tell me about how ugly that car was. By garish car, you mean... Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Mr. Edgeworth's? Incidentally, the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's. Wasn't it? Indeed it was. Garish is a good word. It's one of them words that kind of sounds like what it means. Like, just the word garish is like kind of like this. Garish. What an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you are sure it was the defendant? Euphonically satisfying. Garish. Chag yourself, what cheese are you? I'm the lactate pill. <laughs> I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always complain. You're such a fast learner, Emma. Witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me? Hmm. I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That was inspiring. I believe I've heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry plagiarism? I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. A, a photograph? You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snapped. I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunch boxes is rigged with a camera. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. I, this is my first time seeing this photograph. You think I'd show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. My boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Crime photo added to the court record. Uh oh, that is unmistakably Lana Sky. So what was the defendant doing at the time? The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Tell me more about this knife. Well, I'd say the blade was about 10 centimeters long. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Is your knife? It is your knife, after all. Uh, uh, yeah, that's about right. Um, uh, hold on, let me, uh, check the autopsy report. Uh, 12 centimeter knife caused the, caused the murder. Um, so, checkmate. You say knife like we all should know what that means. Explain knife. Merriam-Webster defines knife. Yes, that's about right. Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Prosecutors are by nature well-versed in the location of a man's vital organs. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. You can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I, I mean a person. Hmm? Perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor? So the defendant was holding a knife. What then? Then she thrust the pointy tip into Detective Goldman's chest. Good, Goodman. Tell the court why you didn't try to stop this crime. You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Hmm, the defense has a point. Like a knife. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late? Yes. The next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I, I see. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Miss Starr's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. Oh, Phoenix. 
Don't smile like that! Stop it. I always knew a day like this would come. That was the only way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. At, at, what was the time? Um, wait, can I examine these? Sure can. Yeah, is that. Uh, ba, 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 It's hard to make out the fine details. But, um... It looks like she's wearing a jacket... ...over her shoulders. Yeah. That's like a loose sleeve, and it, it almost looks like her right, our left, shoulder, has like a wound on it. Every lunch under the sun, lunch for breakfast and dinner as well, and infinite lunch-themed metaphors and puns. Yeah. A jacket over a jacket. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Seems a bit sus, though. Um, I always deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. I sent something. I saw a wire fence. I shot out of Gary's car. I was holding a knife in her right hand. She thrust the pointy tip in a goodman's chest. Was this the one where she was saying the knife was 10 centimeters? Uh... Yeah, I see. What's that before? No, that's it. Yeah! Stop it! Holding a knife. Let me present you with the... The, 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 the this, with the, when, when the... Autopsy report. Updated autopsy report! Objection. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction of that statement, Your Honor. How exactly is that related? I mean, I thought maybe... Because... 12 centimeters is not 10 centimeters, Your Honor. Shit. The moment with the music don't stop. Yeah, it feels good. Um. No, no. Stop. Stop. Come on. I was doing this would come. I was way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. Can I try throwing the time out? Uh. Either from this or from the autopsy report? Great! Good! Great! Am I doing the thing where I'm getting ahead of myself and I, I have something simpler I need to get to first? Possibly. Bum, bum, bum. When lunchtime is very important. I mean, it might be. You never know with these cases. Uh, type on things. Shot Chief Prosecutor standing to a garish car. Holding a knife in her right hand. Uh, this knife? Objection. There's no prints on it. But I mean, she might be wearing gloves, actually. Um, good thing I saved. Okay, that's fine. She pressed her swing a knife in her right hand. She thrust the pointy tip into Goodman's chest. Okay. What do we do? Having her panic it makes me calmer. Yeah, let me... It's gotta be something very specific here that I'm missing. I'm not trying to brute force it. I, I, there's a couple discrepancies, but I'm not sure which statement to press with what, which is the video game. Um, I don't think anything with this. This is just opinion. So I'll make sure. Yeah. You may continue. I don't think it's been properly established exactly what a knife is. I agree. This boyfriend needs the detective. No, he's a guard. Who's? It seems important that he's missing from all this. You can be a boyfriend if you want. It's in the lot in A block. Mm-hmm. Second level. Yep. So why didn't he see all this? Did you bring your lunchboxes by car? It was in B block. Who misses the crime? Uh. 
I, I don't know. Pulling a knife in my right hand. What do we got? Goodman's ID. What does it say on there? Name and ID number written here. Detective Bruce Goodman. Yeah. Why do they use numbers? Letters. They're written. They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. ID Yabba Dab. See, wouldn't that be better? Yabba Dab. It does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point. Doesn't take much to amuse her. Yeah, but that would do. Okay. I call Crocodile Dundee to stand to speak on what a knife is. There you go. The trophy. His knife. Tears the victim's blood, no prints. Parking stub. Enter a lot of 512. Work of art. Between 4 and 5.30, loss of blood from chest wound was a single knife stab wound was found. Victim's note. 67S12-2. I have no idea what that's in regards to. Cell phone call it made at 518. Parking lot floor plans. Just looks... Pretty... Yeah. So where was she standing? She was like... Because with the photo... Yeah, she was off to the side a bit. Mm-hmm. Like, closer towards the front wall, looking off to her. Heh... You have to do a weird press? Oh, I've pressed her on everything! Are there any hints on the testimony loops around? Not really, they're just like, well... You've been- you've got a flesh wound. Just like maybe she has, but I don't see how that's relevant to anything here. Twice? It's never different a second time. By Garrish, you mean Edgeworth's car. Yep. And the knife was his. Yep. Want a hint? Not yet. I saw from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. Chief Prosecutor is holding a knife in her right hand. It was either tough or I'm dumb. Yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes with this game. Tell me about the knife. There's 10 centimeters long. No, I don't mind people asking about hints. It's when people just freely give away hints and I'm like, I don't want it yet. Just using blowing and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eggs. So you're saying an egg did it. Should thrust the pointy tip in his chest. Look how we didn't try to stop it. You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Defense has a point. Time was going on, I was too late. Yes, next moment, he brought down the murder weapon. I see. So it was too quick, but she was able to take a picture? Can I press her on that? Was that- that's the last line? Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. With the photograph. Objection. There it is. I don't use the three of my <laughs> of my objections. And you witnessed this. You saw Miss Sky stab the victim with the knife. As I've already said, yes. I swear it's on my finest salmon swirl lunch. Mmm. I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph! This is the photograph you took of the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? I mean, I just feared it was like a few seconds later, but... Damn. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. He didn't- he didn't yell it, he just said- he just said it. You can't just say it, what's wrong with you, Edgeworth? Let's be a little more careful with our evidence, shall we? It is you that needs to be more careful, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. Objection! How can you tell that? 
blood splatter. Huh? See the dark crimson stain on the chief prosecutor's coat? It's a black and white photo. What do you mean crimson? It's a black and white photograph. Ah, uh, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blued. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem, except you. Mr. Wright, are you going to sit there and take that kind of abuse? Uh, you got a better idea? Objection. Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. That she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. It seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. That's it? If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo size lunch from the get-go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understood it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold, calculating like a robot. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in that photograph. Well, are those gloves? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh, she's a surgeon? If it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. Bah! The murderer is a robot. These gloves do seem to tell a tale of premeditation. Premeditated murder, a serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. Excuse me. It's all like caviar. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. Is that it? It's only a flesh wound. We can make it. Uh, so that's the only new line we have. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Wow. Okay, well, what about the gloves? Maybe she regularly wears those. The rubber gloves prove it. Um, let me press you on that. What else you got there? What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves? Like, driving gloves. The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Back. Impressive. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She's got them thinking this was all planned. If she can prove this claim, the trial's already over. I've got to think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. It's only a flesh wound, we can make it. Uh, Guh. Guh. Buh. Guh. Buh. Um, probably Blue Badger had something to do with that. Uh, the phone, the parking lot, the photo. Is there a part of this photo that proves it wasn't premeditated? Here, the security room. Um, save, please. I mean, I can just redo what I've already done and then get all my. My exclamation point's back. Edgeworth's parking sucks! Beep, 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 beep. I'm an attorney? Objection? If it was premeditated, why did she use Edgeworth's knife? She should have brought her own murder weapon, but she clearly improvised with this car. Or how did she know there was an... I'm throwing that out there. Objection. Yeah! Witness! Do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell box lunches for a living, you know. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. What's with this case? 
The bloody murder weapon, the red car, all belonging to the prosecutor there. The defendant is the chief prosecutor for the district, right? Mommy, are prosecutors bad people? The defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, rookie? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. If the glove fit. However, why would she not also prepare the most important thing? The murder weapon. Oh, oh she got real sweaty real quick. This knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. Get oh! Got her. I'm a kid from the Roaring Twenties, see? Order, order, order. Great, now the tide is turning in our favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister's as good as free. Mm. Mm. Get heckin' worked. Right. I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. But, huh, what? Well, I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. Not over such a trifling detail. But this shoots a hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah. The prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. He has a point. The defendant, Lana Sky, murdered a detective with a knife. <laughs> that is the only thing the prosecution needs proof. Nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now? But you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him. It was planned. If she wasn't, why would why would she have been wearing? I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you. Hmm. Thank you, Lord Charco. My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. This is bringing me more joy than my antidepressant. <laughs> oh no, the squished Maya is quite good. I didn't know that Maya wasn't going to be in this case at all. I mean, I'm still glad I made it, but... Oh my god, the squished Maya. Can I see it again, please? I'd like to see it again, please. Yeah, there she is. But I want to squish her. Squish her a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, she's hanging out. She hasn't been squished. Yeah, squish her. With channel points. There it is! <laughs> a squeaky toy noise. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. That's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> really now. Angel's deduction. All right. Isn't premeditation a prerequisite to the definition of murder? No. No, premeditated murder is, is a specific type of murder. I mean, I, I think. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. But there's like accidental murder, which I think is manslaughter. And then there's murder, which can be premeditated, but doesn't necessarily need to be. Because you can decide to murder someone right in that moment and do a murder. Premeditated is like, I'm planning to murder someone at this date and time. The, the degrees of murder. Murder in the nth degree. I would like to see the squished Maya. <laughs> Lana Sky intended to murder Detective Goodman. They're all different. Murder means, requires guilty mind, which could be premeditation, also could be pushing your wife down the stairs with intention to kill. Right. Yeah. Fifty Shades of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like falling pianos. Well, that's... Yeah, that's... that. Accidents aren't murder. Unless you can prove that someone, like, cut the rope to drop the piano, but... Just... What about murder in the sixth and eighth degree? Nice. Uh, it's nice. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. First degree, which is first degree. Second degree is like murdering someone out of complete and sheer negligence. So there's no other possible outcome. Gotcha. And then third degree is like, you tell someone to kill someone? I don't know. I don't know. They're looking at the midi, respectfully. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. You just said, don't give us your thoughts. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge the knife in again and again. Oh, okay, we got her there. Okay, that's easy. Wanted to hurt them. 
but then you accidentally killed them in the process of trying to hurt them. Oh, that's really fucked up. Hmm. Can we talk about the hot dog around her neck? No. The victim was summoned from the police department to the prosecutor's office. It does sound a lot like premeditation, doesn't it? If I order pizza, does that mean I'm planning to kill the delivery boy? In any case, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Second degree is when you go to college again. Oh, night school. Your Honor, I plead oopsie daisies on account of I have butterfingers with a knife, repeatedly. Lana Sky intended to murder Detective Goodman. If you kill the delivery pizza guy, free pizza. You've said that, but you haven't told us how you know. That's what I'm about to tell you, rookie. I believe what she just said was a mere prelude to the story she's about to tell. Try not to interrupt her again, rookie. Never interrupt a storyteller. It's like pulling a bun out of the, out of the oven, half-baked. Why are they call it oven when you... Something half-baked here is all right, and it's you. Try not to confuse the defense witness. They're not very quick on their feet. Now, why did you believe the suspect had intentions to murder the victim? Maya, look out! It's Mike. Her actions speak for themselves. Buttons. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. How do you know he was the prosecutor, not a prospector? You have no proof that Miss Sky called him there. You have no proof that she didn't. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, thoughts? There is no record of a call made on the defendant, Miss Lana Sky's phone. She might have written him a letter. Come on, you could have tried public phone first, at least. In any case, the victim came to the prosecutor's office where he was murdered. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, you. I'm sure he had a reason to be there, witness. Why do you think it was the suspect who summoned the victim that day? I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Stab him. Probably faxed him. Yeah, they're lawyers. What kind of grudge? Well, I wouldn't know that. Of course you don't. That's because she didn't have a grudge. Rookie. I have a lunchbox here. Now, what's inside? How am I supposed to know? See, we agree there is a lunchbox here, but we don't know what's inside. A person's life is like a lunchbox with pretzels. Don't you agree? I get it. That's why my lunch was so salty. This judge isn't very good with metaphors. The suspect had a grudge against Detective Goodman. Will you tell us your basis for thinking this? It's shimp- shrimple. Really. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge the knife in again and again. Yeah. A human machine? That's a contradiction. Objection. A machine is not a human. Phoenix, that's not the god you think it is. Please. Can't you find fault with something of substance, Mr. Wright? Note to self, Mr. Edgeworth's size smell like citrus fruit. Oh. Hmm. You say again and again. How many times did she stab him exactly? We often say chop into a thousand pieces, but we don't actually mean one thousand pieces. What difference does it make if the deed is done? How come she's getting mad at me? Let's say she stabbed him several times and leave it at that. Leave it at that? This is a murder case, people! Mr. Wright, you should speak up if you have an objection, you know. The star has turned out to be as short-tempered as she looked when we met her. Challenging her abilities as a detective really set her off. You know what? I did just now look at the hot dog around her neck. She's got one of them uh, uh, hot dog octopuses. That, that sometimes are in like a bento. She does very much have that. That's pretty good. Yeah. Hot dog octopuses. Dog octopus. A wiener choker. Well, that's not as fun. Yeah, there you go. Hot dog octopus. Hot to dog. Hot dog octopus. It's me, Doc Hot Doc Oc Hot Dog Octopus, Spider-Man. What are you gonna do? Challenging her abilities as a detective really set her off. The short wick burns out the fastest. It's a scientific fact. I wonder, wouldn't it depend on the size of the candle? I mean, add more wax, even a really short wick will burn longer. Emma? You, you, em. Obviously, more scientific testing is required. Thank you, Emma. Thought a sky intended to murder Detective Goldman. That's how she was caught as a victim. 
And I'm sure he had a grudge. Punch me life in again and again. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah
And you've proved it yourself. With this photograph. Huh? But that... That can't be! Only a true professional could be so clueless. I'm sure you'll make a good lunch lady, have no fear. Hmm. Harsh words, but good. Good harsh words. In the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. What was my objection? Chopped liver? But it was there. A scarf. No, not that, but something red. Really? Well, now, where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude. Now back to business. What? Very well, witness. Continue to testify. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. <clears throat> Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. The most important part? The part where your sister stabs the victim. This next testimony might be just be the moment of truth. Judge high fives him. Mm-hmm. The big boys are talking now. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. Ah, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor made to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. Huh? You're quite determined about this scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. I mean, that's just a snake and then a more specific type of snake. That's me, Angel Star. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is a kind of snake. Don't bother me with the details unless you want to get bitten. No, thanks. Note to self, attorney Wright gets bitten by snake. <laughs> Are you writing it like a news article? The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oil drum? Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Rawr. Very well, Mr. Wright. You'll cross-examination, if you will. But how does it taste? How does lunch taste? After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. Maybe to the phone that's over there. Where is this partition on the floor plans? I'm sure she means this wall next to the car. That's right. Why would they build a giant partition like that in a parking lot where, you know, other than anything that's load-bearing? And you can make a pillar load-bearing. Why does that have to be a whole goddamn wall? There was a wall here about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. So cars can crash easier. And ambiance. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Parking lot ambiance. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. And what did you do then? It does also- right, it doesn't reach the ceiling. So it's not even load-bearing. Make for more interesting car park murder time. I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her and arrested her on the spot. Yeah, how'd you do that quickly when you're in the wrong lot to get over to her? Were you close to the suspect? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. On the other side of a fence, right. Hmm. Maybe I should press her for more details. Yes, press. Did she phase through the front to the fence like the T-1000? I'd like to see this on the floor plans just to be safe. There are constant weird obstructions of parking lots understand. That's fair. Maybe as they're building it, they're like, well, this just has to be here. And then whoever's working on the architecture of it is just like, well, this sucks. The Lunchland car was. She was a visitor, thus she was parked in B block. So you witnessed the murder from here? I would make it about 30 feet from the car, yes? Is that correct, Miss Star? I'm sorry, Carmine. Yes, that's right. But there was a chain link fence in front of you. I went over it, of course. Amazing! The cough up queen, lunch lady athlete, indeed. It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. So she couldn't have gotten into my sister that fast. Yeah, the fence was about nine feet high. I guess there is a gap at the top. It does not reach the ceiling. How come this guy didn't get away? Hmm. Lunch ladies can teleport in RuneScape? She gave the fence a bento and it split open. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. Why? What? Huh? She mentioned the muffler? What exactly did she say? 
If I remembered exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Cheeky. Anyway, all I heard her say was the word muffler. Like the car's muffler? Just that one word? So what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else? Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone? You mean this cell phone? It was muffled. By phone, do you mean this cell phone discovered at the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Oh, ultimately? My memory... It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see. No, the court doesn't see, Miss Star. The chief prosecutor's first attempted to use... She first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall. That's right. Near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently, it was out of order. Good use for an emergency phone. And so she used her cell phone. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm. Good witnessing, witness. I can't believe the judge said that. I can't believe that's the real thing that the judge just said to a witness. Good witnessing. I like the way you witnessed everywhere. Good witnessing, whatever happened to good testifying? Like a salmon swimming upstream beleaguered and existentially drained. Yep. You should, of course, add this to your testimony. The things I do to please this rookie defense attorney. Cell phone update in the car record. Updated cell phone report. She gave up trying to use the phone on the wall and just used her cell phone. I like the part where the witness witnessed. Do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! I was going to ask the same thing. Only say this one time. Listen close, rookies. Plural. We're all rookies now. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. Then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. And during that time, you climbed over the chain link fence. Then when I boldly grabbed her arm, the chief pros prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? Thank you, Lulime. Go back, enjoy your card. Uh. What is it, Mr. Wright? She made to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. She made to escape. Can you be more specific? She brushed aside my hand and ran. It was a terrible sight to see, like a dollop of lard on a pate on a on a pate of foie gras. Pate of foie gras. A pat a pate. Maybe a plate. MG3's coming to switch. Yeah, that was announced a bit ago. A party of foie gras. A pate of foie gras. She even kicked over an oil drum at me. A pate of foie gras. An oil drum. There was an oil drum lying on its side at the scene of the crime. But it's strange. Hmm? What's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run the other way? The other... Ah! The car entrance. That's right. It doesn't make any sense that she would run from behind the partition to the oil drums. Excellent. More mysteries. I wish we could solve a few before finding more, though. So Miss Guy tried to run. I'm sorry my sister is so suspicious, Mr. Wright. Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it. You have to believe me. Okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll save here. Maybe I'll save here. No! No. There you go. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to the side. I caught her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. She gave up trying to use the phone on the wall and just used her cell phone. The chief prosecutor made to escape, but against Angel Star resistance is futile. So which was the line that Phoenix was like, ah, I've got you now. Was it this one? No. This one is the cell phone. Think you could restate your testimony? 
I was gonna ask the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm only gonna say this once, but I'll say it again. There's a soft lock in the remake. Oh no. On this case. Oof. Uh, is there a spoiler free way to make sure I avoid it just in case it's in the DS version? Chief Buster gets stabbed the victim, ran by the partition, and expect the emergency phone of the wall is out of order. Show her own cell phone out of her pocket. We're gonna tell you about another chain like that. DS or PC. Yeah. She hung up her phone. PJ? And you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Wright? Hmm. So, I mean, from from the start, I thought this photo clearly shows she was not standing where she said she was standing. And I feel like that's probably important. But why would she change where she was standing in her testimony? And also, which line do I try to press that on if that is indeed the correct thing? Um, she was trying to use the phone on the wall and just use her cell phone. Yeah. Okay. Thank God the music stopped. <laughs> it's for sure in the Switch version. I'm going to basically start the whole case over. Oof. That sucks. Always say before a choice of text, not evidence. Okay. So when it's like, here's multiple choices to pick between. Hmm, okay. I want to see if it's in the DS so I know to avoid it. I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Skye. Objection! The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Just don't leave yourself with one health and you'll be fine as far as I know. When the judge will ask you something? Okay. Is it during this part of the trial or is it later on in the case? Hmm. Edgeworth is gay, Your Honor. No. Two health. We're at two health right now. So am I in danger? <laughs> well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shining armor, prosecutor? You who, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? I don't know what you're talking about. Everyone's mentioning on the switch. If it is, you're fine for a while. It's later in the case. Okay. Hmm. Only save when you're on the testimony. Okay. Don't save before a text choice. Or do save before the text choice. Mess with me and I'll make you cough it all up. Let's look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen Miss Sky making that phone call. And phone calls are silent, as are operating phones. Not a peep. Definitely don't not, not do it. You're fine for a good while. Okay. If you're above one health, I think you're safe. So it's a situation where if you pick wrong, it removes a health, but then if you run out of health on that choice, it then softlocks you. Something like that. You can reload from chapter if you fail. It basically happens in the remake because you can only load from save if you get caught in a loop. You can only fail and reload to fail again. Oh. Ugh. The judge kills you. <laughs> One of the last courtroom things that a text choice. Oof. Yeesh. Anyway. Thanks for the heads up. Save every time you advance the text in any circumstance just to be safe. I mean, I can do that. I believe you see what I'm getting at. That emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in B block, you couldn't have seen it. <laughs> Same before crossing is a good option. Be sure to always have two health in this case. Got it. So I get down to one, I'll just die and reload. Order! What's the meaning of this? It's simple, Your Honor. She's not coughing up lunch, she's coughing up lies. Grr. You take the penalty and move on. Gotcha. Okay, just make sure I'm above 2L. Just in case there's a 
the softbox in this version. That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me a question? Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about where she saw it. Yeah. She tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It would be pointless for her to lie about it. Pointless to lie? I see. The witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. In other words, Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. A different location? Now that's a pointless lie if ever I've heard one. Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell it. Okay, so the fact that I immediately picked up on her saying she was in a different spot was important. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? All the testimony we've heard up to now points in one direction. The place from where Miss Star witnessed this crime was here. It was, was, it was like over here. She got out of her van and saw it from here. Like around there. I think, I mean, it's highly likely that's where she was. You, you think? It's highly likely? Your cavalier attitude stands in stark contrast to your feeble argument, Mr. Wright. Her being there wouldn't change a thing. Please, Mr. Wright, think before, oh. I thought that's where she was. What do you mean, why? What do you mean, why? She took the photo. Okay, look at the photo. Chain link fence in the way, and she's at an angle. It has to be far enough down that she can see past the partition. So what do you mean, why? It seemed right to me, that's why I said it. Do I have to reload my save or are we good? We're good, because it's later in the case. We're fine. What? How do you know she took the photo? I, 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 was there another witness standing there? What do you mean? I'll tell you after. Okay, but fine. I am flabbergasted. Okay. Then where the hell else could she have been? It's only in the Switch version. Okay, good. Uh, when you're older. Point of thing on map interesting. I mean, I've always been pretty fortunate to get it right. It's there. I mean, she's right up against the fence. So if it wasn't there, then I'd say it was like there. But I don't think that's far enough down. Because she wouldn't be able to see behind there from there. So what? Ha what? Not there, there. Not there, there. I honestly do not know. And I have one shot left. And then we gotta do... When was the last time I saved? I don't know. Think crazy. Crazy like a fox? Crazy would be... From the security room? When she went to drop off... Food for her boyfriend? But then how in the hell was the photo taken? Nothing makes any sense to me. <clears throat> she was the car? I don't know. And I feel the pressure because I only have one shot at this now. I don't know. Over there. It just needs to work. Then fuck it. Security room. Final answer. <laughs> This is the only place where she could have been. Where did the photo come from? This doesn't make any goddamn sense. What the hell is happening? The security guard room? Indeed, the security guard room in the underground parking lot is well positioned. It's built on the second level so you can see the entire lot. She would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. Nuh-uh. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness, not being part of the prosecutor's office, 
couldn't park in a block the only place where she could have seen the crime and the back of the partition is here i remember in your testimony you said you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room yes well miss star how many years have i been getting the better of men to think that the tables could be turned Today, a man has got the better of Angel Star. Stop being melodramatic and fess up to lying in court, madam. Order, order. Science Maya is very good. What have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished, and I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty? She's talking about Miss Sky? Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Hmm? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. That truth still stands. Objection. All of it said this still stands? I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. Bye bye. If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Huh? M me? Who else? Mr. Wright, let's reveal what we know. Miss Star witnessed this, the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from B Block. It must make a vital difference, but what? What would change? Angle of view of the crime, distance to the crime, difference in lighting. Well, the angle of view matters. Presumably. Perjury is still a thing, I was starting to wonder. Yeah, there's been a lot of perjury, but it's always like, oh, I didn't mean that, shucks. And they let it slide. I, uh, can I, can I, can I, I'm gonna, can I, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save. Let's see if I... I know I only want health, it's fine. Everything's fine. I can't get soft locked, remember? Maybe. When it when it comes to a future trial, I'll be careful about health, just in case. Um, angle. The angle matters. Why, the angle at which she saw the crime occur would change. The angle? What do you mean? Uh, uh well, the security guard station is on the second floor, and, um... She would have sort of a more 3D view of the crime. And this is important, why? Uh, uh, perhaps you'd like to reconsider, Mr. Wright. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. The defense has failed to give the court sufficient reason to doubt the prosecution's claim. This court finds the defendant missed on a sky. Guilty. Yeah, 3DS was later. 3D view of your client's guilt! <laughs> Bam! The accused will surrender to the court immediately, to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. Court is adjourned. Nice. Oh well. Yeah, for, for the content, Petco. For the content. Yeah, I do it for the content. I sentence you to soft locking the game. Just fucking... Uh, uh, you know what would change is the, the distance to the crime would change. It changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. My condolences, Mr. Wright, but one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. What she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there to the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Sky? Well, witness? You. M me? Yes. A bird would be a hard lock, not a soft lock. Objection. You're right, Joshua. You're correct. You ordered the squid wheels, right? You ordered the fried rubber bands, correct? The quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. 
I was bringing a PB&J lunch with fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. It just so happened to resemble a traditional bento, but don't worry about it. Boysenberry for the boysen friend. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass-walled station. And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. That's why I had to go through the visitor's parking in B Block. That's quite a detour. So there's a very long period of time where there was no witness. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. That is longer than I thought even. Five minutes? And then she took the pick. This changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have photographic evidence. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. You have a point, and the spork is a wonderful invention. Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely. Uh oh. Mr. Wright, you have to do something. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Objection. Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You could make pasta in that amount of time. If you like it al dente. I got lunch boxes that tie pasta in knots, rookie. A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange? If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, your honor? Well, um, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey! Don't get the wrong idea. I, I didn't kill anyone. Not yet. Not that you know of. But you have the instincts of a killer. You would run! But this time was different. Miss Sky dawdled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Yeah! She's fine. Well, then, it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. She has a grudge against the defendant, and there is a blank in her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, is the next witness ready to go? Uh, unfortunately, Your Honor, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright! That was too close. I'm afraid that the cough-up queen has been dethroned. And with that, court is adjourned. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to foist off on me! I prefer to not take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else to say? I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was that? Is this another one of her trick lunch boxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Is this your jumbo lunch box? Woohoo! A triple decker! Out of deference to the witness's determination, I'll allow one more testimony. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Nom, nom, nom. Like the Lunchland motto says, you won't be disappointed. Is she gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time? Her American lunchbox. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on this shoe. One was, of course, the victim's, and the other was the defendant, Miss Lana Skye's blood. This shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. Yeah. But what? There was blood found on that shoe? Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Objection! Defense doesn't have evidence right away. Guilty. Prosecution doesn't have evidence. Oh, well, that's cool. I guess you can go find it. Come back tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> 100%.
Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. In any case, your honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You should know the two rules of evidence, Law, Miss Star. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. Edgeworth sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today, updated forensic support. Done. Even the general public can't, can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah. Gah. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Updated forensics report. It seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. So Edgeworth, Phoenix doesn't know what is and isn't legal proceedings. He just judges it off of Edgeworth's response. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, correct. Good. But it can't be submitted without presenting to the defense. No, they submit evidence in court all the time. But I guess apparently the police need to know about it. You could at least study some evidence law, really. Nick just bluffs his way. Oh, 100%. The prosecution's complaints notwithstanding, it appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. Well, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. Victim's shoe. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. Good. Rule number two, evidence law makes your evidence legal. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. Hold on. I gotta inspect this here shoe. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. Oh, man. They really got in it, huh? Hmm. Looks like it's made out of shoe, Your Honor. There's blood here, too. On the sole of the shoe. It's gotta be the victim's. He must have stepped in a puddle of his own blood. All this blood, it's horrible. Hmm. This blood might be an important clue. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe the shoe done it. Maybe the murder weapon was a shoe. This blood, it's my sister's, right? Appears so. Lana's right hand was bandaged when I saw her in jail. She must have cut herself at the time of the crime. Poor sis. Take a whiff. Mm, smells like foot. White enamel shoe. There's traces of blood from Goodman and Lana Sky. Mm hmm. Maybe another safety save is in the way. Just because, you know, I fucked up four times more than that, but, you know, safety saves are nice. Continue. Yeah. If the shoe fits, I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. Yeah, you should have. Why did you lie about those five minutes? You... Thank you. I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. The results? How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, a five minute blank means nothing. Then why didn't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile lot known as prosecutors. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. This when the suspect is admitting she did it? False testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Miss Star. Worse even than murder. Let's get this over with. And now to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? No. And you found this shoe at the scene of the crime? 
I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was still waiting for the police to arrive. So like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. This shoe is my secret weapon if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It carries more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. I'm happy for you and your lunchbox bag, really. In any case, you removed valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. Now tell us what you did next. Two types of blood were found in the shoe. One was, of course, the victim's. So you brought it to the forensics department. If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. And she got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. The shoe does appear to have bloodstains on it. Makes sense, after all, a man was stabbed here. And that blood belonged to the victim, Detective Goodman? As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. And the other was the defendant, Miss Lana Skye's blood. You can't say for sure the blood belonged to the victim with a blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie? Huh? Well, speak up. Uh, well, um... Blood comes in four types, A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was performed in cold blood. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, if you combine all the various blood tests, there are millions of types. It's practically impossible to narrow a blood sample down to one person. Or so I hear. Millions of types? If I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. But they said there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Lana Skies. Hmm. The suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. That ties her directly to the death of Detective Goodman. Abo... Aboib. Abo... I was afraid he was going to say that. Who's they? You know, they. Them. They. The shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You ordered the peppered fish guts, right? Yes, I did. Some like it hot, Mr. Wright. Some, like your client, she's in enough hot water to make a whole batch of soup. They equals her three boyfriends in forensics. Right, as opposed to her other boyfriend who's the security guard at the prosecutor's office and then her other boyfriend. I don't know if we know, if we know about the other group of boyfriends. Mr. Wright, do you or don't you have a problem with this shoe? A problem? This is critical. What's wrong with the victim's shoe? There's a problem with the shoe. I'm not imagining things. I'd say there's one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. Soup. Soup. Whole batch of what now? Thank you. Thank you, Nirvana. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's see what Mr. Wright has to say. What is contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with this evidence. It's the blood on the bottom. The 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 blood bone. Blood bottom. Take that. Take that. I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of the shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Mm, indeed, there is quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. Makes sense, the victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradictory about blood on the bottom of his shoe? Um... Uh, uh, uh he was stabbed in the chest? I'm guessing your shoe has blood on it, too. You just shot yourself in the foot. Ah. Would you like a grinder or a grind from the heel of my boot, Mr. Wright? Shit. Well. Got him. Down. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Great. Good. Pull me back. Pull me back. Pull me back. Okay, okay. 
Then I bring this up. Two types of blood. Those are victims. The other was Miss Lance guys. What? The shoe poses. Hey, congrats! <laughs> Thanks for the $10. Thank you for the hammy, Mario Luigi. I returned from my graduation party. I'm so happy. I want me a hammy. Congrats on graduating. Thank you for the hammy. Uh, appreciate it. Hope you had a wonderful party and you can relax now. And hopefully you can relax now that you graduated. Hell yeah. Congrats. Two things of music going at the same time. Hell yeah. Uh, that's pretty sly, hiding evidence like that. There's nothing sly about a lawyer using the law as a weapon. In any case, science is always on our side. I don't think science cares about sides. Don't forget, scientific investigation is the wave of the future. Hmm. Maybe we should investigate this evidence a little bit more closely. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Beep boop 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 there's a problem with the shoe. So how, I just thought it was like, okay, maybe it's because there's blood on the bottom, but not on the top. And if he was bleeding enough to make like a fucking blood puddle, there'd be blood all over his clothes. But it's only on the bottom, meaning he, meaning he only stepped on blood. And, and, and how could that, I gotta, I gotta spin it around. Um, there. But then what evidence could I point to that's like, ha huh? I thought it would just be the, the autopsy report, but not apparently. What's contradictory about blood on the shoe? Is it the knife? Why would it be the knife? The floor plan, the crime photo. The shoe is contradictory about the shoe. I'm not having a single thought. That's how I play Ace Attorney. I believe that the shoe was the victim. Um, Let's try the knife. Oops. Okay, I guess I guess we're just playing process of elimination now because I don't know. The shoe is a clock. I heard it say ook ook. At the turn of the hour. Nailed it. Thank you. I don't know if there's anything I'm missing. It seems like it's important to know that there's blood on the bottom. But why? I'm gonna take a look. Problem? There's a contradiction. What is the problem with the evidence? Blood on the bottom. Case five, staying alive if the shoe fits, then I get hives. It's with my attorney's badge. What could be contradictory about blood on the bottom of his shoe? It's not the autopsy report, it's not the knife. So it's gotta be the photo? There's no pool of blood on the ground in the photo. That's what it is. That's gotta be it. The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? Notes that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Uh -huh. That was... a little bit silly. It's good, I get it. I just... I had the same realization, but from a different angle. He's like, there were no bloody footprints. And I'm like, how in the fuck would there only be blood on the bottom of the shoe? 
And the blood on top was was from what's her face. But welcome to Phoenix. I mean, it's, it's fair. Because if too many pieces of evidence are correct, then you can accidentally be right for the wrong reason. So I was thinking crazy here if to be normal. I don't think it was that crazy to think about the way I did, but yeah. As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about this shoe. This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. Found her shoes black in the photo. It was the victim's shoes, not her shoes. If there were bloody prints, they would have been found. We checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Isn't he accidentally right a lot of the time? Yes, but you, the player, are not supposed to be accidentally right. You're supposed to know. Although there are times where they're like, I don't know, guess. What's the, like, where was she watching from? Uh, uh, order, order. Well, witness. What, huh? I, uh, great going, Mr. Wright, but it's true the lack of a footprint is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh, that's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. Wright, think. I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? <laughs> I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. He's on the pants. I thought that was a strange thing for the normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh, that, hmm? I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though apparently you're the not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness. Well, was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Welcome back, Sir Squirrel. What water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Ah, you don't mean... Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for this for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the bloodstains that would become evidence against her. There's a water drum. That ties things up quite nicely. Well, she's guilty. Bang bang. I'm off to lunch. The bloodstains left on the victim's shoes tie her quite clearly to this murder. Then after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. Why, that's a prosecutor's specialty. Erasing evidence. That reminds me. Miss Skye's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she'd cut herself when she stabbed him? So my sister's blood on the shoe. That's when it happened. Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, do something, please! What? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime, and she tried to conceal it. But... Enough. There is no need for further debate. The verdict, your honor. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution's side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Is anyone, anyone going to say objection? Oh, there it is. Who said that? Little girl, what did you just say? Huh? B me? Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution's side? B well, yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well? I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called evidence. I hate this witness so much. I hate this witness so very, very much. Witness, don't tell me you have something else. 
You've reached your verdict, Your Honor. Any further comments will be held in contempt of court. He's learning from Von Karma now. Your threats don't scare the cough up queen. Look at this. A photograph? I had this just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm, I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. Wright, wait, look at the asphalt in this photo. Hey, it's clearly wet. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. Come on, Phoenix. Enter your mind, palace. I'm sorry, Mia. Right. Wet or not. Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Huh? Huh? Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. A sonic worm is still a worm. <laughs> this is the last piece of evidence. Very well. This time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. Object. Objection. The objection! <laughs> Your honor! W wait. What is it with you people? Can I hand down my verdicts in peace anymore? Thank you for the soup. Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. That's why it's an objection in court. Then it will be too late. Look at this photograph, the last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right? Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah, I'll think later. Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I've got to go ahead with this. I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem in this photograph. Oh, God. Uh... It's the muffler! The exhaust! The problem in this photograph is here! What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler! Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor, you just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any kind in this photograph. A muffler is also a part on a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as a part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see, I, and I see. What's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's m m muffler? So what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? IQ 500. I mean, it's it immediately stood out to me. She mentioned muffler earlier, and I thought that might have been referring to the car. So I was like, if it's not this, then I'll be mad. So I just went for it. What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Objection. Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. But Let's see what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think this piece of cloth in the muffler is related to this case. I can't save. Uh, 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 is it tied to the note? Or, um... Yeah, tell us. I Listen, I'm with Phoenix. I'm just I'm wing it, winging it. Yeah, listen, I'm an attorney. What could the piece of cloth be? Uh... Uh... Lost blood from chest wound. Wound was caused by a 12 center your knife. Still stab wound was found. Victim's metal found in the trunk. I have no idea what that's about. The word muffler. Oh, that. Oh, just that. That's really, well, that's, yeah. Um, well, c because she mentioned the word muffler in the phone call, Your Honor. I miss Maya. 
Is she learning how to talk to ghosts better? When it's in the muffler. M m my my hold it. <laughs> hold it. Objection. Objection. Meow. Maya he? Maya aha. Maya who? Meow. Okay, fine. Yeah. Mister, recall your testimony for the court. Ah, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. Muffler. Back! Yar, yar, you got me. And yes, I was a pirate all along, see? But you'll never get me gold doubloons, Mr. Wright. You don't have to be smarter than that. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? Yar har har, you found me, Link. If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. She's dead. Well, it seems we will have to suspend the proceedings. Sus. Suspend? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once, and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. I blame the cowboy. I'm assuming that that cloth isn't there anymore. Whew, that was close. But, we made it. At least for now. He likes cloth. She likes cloth. The court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry. That's a good band name. To be continued. Oh. We're, we're just continuing the trial. We're not gonna go, I guess, we have 30 minutes to go get that cloth. This case is long, that's what they're saying. February 23rd, 1156 AM, just before lunchtime. Defendant lobby number two. Uh, Mr. Wright, how what? Are trials always like this with you? Like, you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake about to reach the surface, but no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there? Pretty much. Except today, we're swimming in quicksand. So what happened to your sister, anyway? Apparently she got called off to the judge's chambers. Hmm. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So, this is where we turn this trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant to tell the truth. Hola, partner. They say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a youngin', at least. Officer Marshall! Thought I'd come take a look, see it how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. They got the place locked down tighter than the fort in enemy territory. What is going on over there, anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. He said prosecutor instead of prospector. He's growing. He's learning. Officer Marshall, the whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now don't that just beat all? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw it that day too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the awards ceremony that afternoon, Edgeworth seen it too, I reckon. What does that mean? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So, Miss Starr wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. I have a bad feeling about this. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Ooh -wee! Thank you, Marshall. February 23rd, 1232 p.m. District Court. Courtroom number nine. Oh my god, we're just back in court. 
I guess they're gonna show us what the cloth was. I'd like to resume? Did the judge forget how to judge? Did he forget how to do his job? What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. He's been poisoned. <laughs> is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. Is that- is there anything? Like charades. Face is blue, lips purple, sweats bullets. What am I? Mom spaghetti. Is he dying? Maybe. That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. My god, he's a, a sneak. It sounds like it's turning into a Dr. Seuss book. Thank you for the bits, exactly. In case people do not just say scarf like a normal person, the whole point is that it's meant to be like muffler, muffler. But my question is then, in the Japanese, is there a word that responds to both the exhaust pipe of a vehicle and some kind of neck wear cloth you could wear around your... Is, does that exist in Japanese as well? Because that's kind of nuts. It's literally just the word muffler? It's muffler. It's a loan word. Well, shit. The localizer's probably like, thank fucking God. <laughs> if it was like some really weird multi-layered Japanese pun, they were like, oh no. The whole case rides on this. How do we fucking translate it? It's like, it's just the word muffler. There you go. Like, is it common to refer to the exhaust pipe as a muffler? Not where I'm from. Here in Los Angeles, but... I know the phrase, I know it applies to the exhaust system, you know, it's fine. That, uh, yeah. It's, well, that, yeah, when you shorten it, it gets worse, good. Huh? I was, I was, it can't be. This can't happen. It automatically progressed the text, I don't know what it said. It's fine. Hey, I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. He probably learned what was in that scrap of cloth. Well then, I believe it's time we continued on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that this is unacceptable. Uh, it seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh, excuse me, knock knock. Hmm? Who's there? <laughs> excuse me? Excuse me? What's with this guy? A strange, stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Oh my god, it's Lawyer Gannon. The temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Are you saying he's hot? Who on earth is he? And what is his theme song? He's just looking at me. Uh, it's you! Is he gonna... Looks like the texture didn't load for his glasses. That's unfortunate. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry I'm late, Uji. The roads were packed. It's just me. Long time no see, eh, Uji? How you been? Swim much these days? Ah, uh, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy, busy, smizzy, Uji, my boy. You have to make time to relax. Y yes, indeed. Uji seems to be his nickname for the judge. Does the judge not have a name? Just judge? I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. His theme is called Swimming Anyone. Uh, who are you? Ah, ha! So you're right, oh, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Uh, uh, thanks? So sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? Boy, he's just got a nickname for everyone. You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. Well, there it is. His name is Mike Judge or something. <laughs> the judge's name is Mike Judge. Little, little worthy? Mr. Wright, you don't know the district chief of police? That's the chief of police. What? Ch chief of police? He's the top ranking police officer in the entire district. Yeah, why would, when we've had a, why, why would we have interacted with him? Name's Gant, Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. Damon Gant. It's a weird name. Chief Gantendorf. So, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought he'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that's 
My sister's muffler. Relation to Matt Damon? No relation. Him being the chief police explains a lot. Yeah. Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. Uh, how does that prove that it was... Whatever. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. How do... What? How, do, how does that tie that to that time? Secret stone? Let me tell you about the secret stone. But to think that it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. Okay, so, th okay, that's the detail I need. On Little Worthy's car, no less. He, he, why does he take so long to think? <laughs> he just stands... He's playing with his hair. That's very good. It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? It's what you'd call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. For dramatic effect. Oh, Chief! What kind of outfits are you running? Mr. Edgeworth, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now, wait a minute, Worthy. I've no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document where it says, person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature. Miles Edgeworth? That's no fair. The day of the crime I, I had. Your head in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel, but you're the person in charge. I'd expect a- I'll expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. Hm. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. No, major blunder is the witness in the next case. Yeah! The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Y yes Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at this the blade of this knife. The blade, your honor? I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes, well, I think all you have to do is push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at people anymore. Come on, just hurry up and open it! Sheesh. It's automatically doing it for me. Fine. Now now do I get the... Okay. Just someone cut their finger. God. What's this? There's a small tag on this knife. It seems to say SL92. What does that mean? Well, I've heard something similar. DL6 of DL6 incident fame. But it's strange. What is? I'm not certain, but I get the feeling I've seen this somewhere before. Letters like this, or letters that looked a lot like this, somehow. Is that how they, they categorize evidence, and then that's what the slip of paper it was directing to a specific piece of evidence? Uh, uh, oh, ooh, oh. I'm putting it together, chat. Yeah! Wow, don't scare me like that! I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade. The tip is broken off. And this dark red stain. Blood? Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Huh? What? Did the... Huh? Why did the... Why the audio just cut out? Is it... We're good. Okay, that was just part of the game then. That just seemed very abrupt. Uh... Switchblade knife added to the court record. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. That's not good enough here. No. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us about the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife? Sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one, really. How does this old ass knife relate? Do we not know yet? We have no idea. Yet. This knife is special. Yeah, I like this clap at a sound effect, too. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. 
But that was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. The time of the crime, 515. Scary coincidence, eh? Not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. There was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's hush hush information. The uh, hush hush, a uh, jeep. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Okay. Wait a second. You said 515. That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, Ed Edgeworth, remember in the opening cutscene for the. Yeah, for the for the case where we saw two people simultaneously getting murdered in two different buildings, and that uh, the blue badgers involved somehow. He was busy playing chess, just surrounding his little phoenix piece. Order. Anyway, we at the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top secret, top top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department situation, and they were polygonal. Well, Mr. Wright, maybe the murder weapon was one of the polygons. Two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. Chances of that are really slim, scientifically speaking, of course. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Mm-hmm. Edgeworth's homoerotic chess set, now available in stores. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. I'm putting down a safety save. Because we're starting fresh at five fuck-ups. The judge had lunch. So that's why I'm allowed more leeway with messing up and wasting the court's time. That's canon. Excuse me, special? Mm-hmm, hard to come by this particular knife anywhere else. Um... Might that special thing be this little tag? Oh, sorry, Raito. Can't say that now, not that. We've established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? That's quite a mystery. And like a mystery, it's wrapped in something, a muffler. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. This knife was found on the scene of our crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that go on in that department I can't explain. It's delicate, okay? Sorry, Raido. Maybe there's something about the knife that will give us a clue. Let's examine that knife while we can, Raido. Evidence that links this knife to Detective Gooman. I like that Emma's calling him Raido now. I think perhaps the pieces are falling into place. I should try presenting the piece of evidence that's had me stumped all this time. So how are things down at the department? That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. Something didn't happen at the police department too, did it? You got a good look in your eyes there, right on my boy. Sharp, hungry. Chief, did something happen? And why haven't I heard? Why haven't you heard? Or why didn't you ask? No matter, I understand. You were busy, what with Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? A detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. Bruce's brother, not a Goodman. On the same day that the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, Udgy? I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. Well, it, our arrest was even faster. It was, like, at the same moment. So that one seems standard by comparison. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, right? I suppose I could help if you help me by giving me data on your case. Oh, good one, the skin's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Oh. But... Well, I guess how they were killed. Because we know when, he told us. 
And we know vaguely where. We could probably get more specific info, but we don't know anything about how. So, fuck it. Give me how. How was the detective killed? You have 50 bucks I can borrow? How was he killed? Now that's the interesting part. He wasn't. He's still alive. A murder case where the sus where the victim lived. It's got us all stumped for sure. It was what we in the force call a stabbing with a knife. It's the technical term. Pranked your ass, Raito. A, a knife? That's exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit we're cooking now. But you know, that's not the only thing that was exactly the same. What do you mean? There were more similarities between the two cases than the cause of death. Seems like I'm gonna have to press this a bit harder. The time of the crime, 5.15. 5... 5.15. But that's... That's when Detective Goodman was killed in the prosecutor's office. What? Funny, isn't it? A murder at the prosecutor's place, and a murder at our place at the very same time. What are the chances? Coincidence? This is just my gut feeling, but I'd say there's a .001% chance of that happening. Chief Gant, please tell us more about the incident. Not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. They get re surprised by these details. Yeah, sometimes it seems like the way they're phrasing it is like the cross examination is the first time they're hearing it. When you can't cross examine until you've heard it already. It's a little weird, but it doesn't matter. How can you say there's no connection? Give him a burger, Bento. Because I'm chief of police. I can't just say anything I please, Rido. You understand? Try to understand, Rido. Even the judge is calling you Rido now. Well, if you can prove there is a connection, more power to you. Maybe there is something that ties the two murders together. Whatever it is, I better find and get to the bottom of this. I think you're right, or are we time heisting? We never time heist, ever. Only a little bit. Often, sometimes. Two detectives at 515, one at the prosecutor's office, and one at police department. Can't be a coincidence. And that knife. What was it doing there? I better check this knife out. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Let's just put evidence to prove a connection. With this thing. Wait a second. At last, an honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Aha, uh -huh, an honest to goodness, what do you mean from the judge? This is great. Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important, why? Over here we also have a memo that was written on the body of the victim. Watch this. Six minus seven S, it's December 2nd. Your Honor, it's upside down. Is that, no. Oh. I didn't realize that. J upside. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? I'm gonna turn my DS upside. Oh, oh, ha, 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 SL9! Shit. Aha! When he wrote this note, he was holding the paper upside down. SL9. That's the same thing that was written on the knife's tag. Nice. Order, order. Well, Chief. Ah, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rido. I win? Uh, what game is this guy playing? What is this prize? This knife was, knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. So this knife was stolen. But on the day of the murder, it was evidence, you say. Was it, in fact, a murder weapon? Nice, 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 good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon, as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. This knife was, this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. 
Hard to think there isn't a connection there. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. Wait, so, huh? What am I pressing now? A detective was killed. Time of the crime, 515. You can tell because of the monkey clock in the garage. Not officially linked to this case. Can't know much time about it. My president in the police department. Give me a coincidence. And that knife. What was it doing there? I better check this knife out. I did already. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. What? It was the blue badger. He done it. Um. Um. Uh huh. Could it be about the phone call? The blue badger is great. He's wonderful and wouldn't hurt a fly. Always with the ooking. Maybe Von Karma did with a gun. Objection. Your Honor, I fucked up. Cool. What if the knife is also a clock? Yeah. Why is Blue Badger not beat the TV yet? I don't know. Me when the music keeps playing. I mean, I say before we started all this, so it's, it's fine. It's nice. Was I mean, that's gotta be the thing I have to press on, but. I mean, it doesn't have to be. I just don't see what else I would. 515. Not officially linked, so I can't talk much about it. I mean, I... You know what? I didn't... Well, I did look at the knife. Maybe there's more... Just double check. Make sure I didn't miss anything. So I checked the card. The small tag on the knife. It says SL92. Yeah. What about the blade? So there's nothing to inspect with the blade. Okay. So there really is nothing else. It's it's just to get you to look at the the note. Huh? It said you had to press again in something you had already pressed on. What? Are you talking in, in, in the corner of this screen where it says press? Because you can press as many times as you want the same thing. This knife was stolen. On the day of the murder, it was evidence. It was a murder weapon. My case solved. It was found in the exhaust pipe. So, uh, what, 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 what else could there be? Eh. There he is. Police department. Uh, uh, get, but, um, um, I mean, do I just present this again? That can't be right. The phone wasn't correct. Ay, 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 ay. I'm just gonna put down another safety save because even though I was wrong, I'm gonna mess up again. So it's fine. Gah. It's a weirdo thing. Love a weirdo thing. Ay, ay. I'm gonna just present it right back at him again. Objection. Great! Cool! Nice! Red! Definitely weird from right. Hmm. What have we been trying to do? I I don't know. Uh uh, because we've been uh, cross-examining him. We found the connection between the knife and our current case, because there was this note here. But now it's like, uh now what now what am I trying to press on? I don't know. The knife? This knife? I object to you bringing in a knife. Yeah, I'm just- I'm just throwing this away now. Is it a different statement I'm supposed to be pressing on? 
Don't press the knife to stab yourself. Thank you. Knife in. Because that's the only new dialogue I've gotten. That was killed. 515, scary coincidence. Not officially linked, can't touch much about it. Try force. Yeah, we examined the knife already. I didn't see anything else on there. I... I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Uh... It was stolen from the department's evidence room. What does this say on here? I'm just thinking, like, does it say anything on here that would tie him to the... Like, he's the one who stole it? Mm. You did make a dialogue choice so you can go back to it? Uh, no. No. No, no prints. Uh. I mean, probably Blue Badger did it, but I think we're too early for that. I do not know. Uh. Muffler. That's what it's like. It seems like. Why wouldn't this be important? That Lana was like, it's in the muffler. The muffler in the muffler. And then she had it. Why, why, why is that not what I'm pressing right here? Fuck. Many options. That's why it sucks. <laughs> Just like stumped. Uh, it was probably Mr. Mustard. It was probably. I can't think of anything else. None of this seems like there's a contradiction. I can't tell that any, uh, if any other word, any other line of his. Like typically, structurally, the way that, the way that this game has worked is you go through their 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 statement, their testimony. You find the one thing you can poke at, then they update their testimony, and then that's usually a, an angle you can get in on. But I can't find anything with this, and I don't see any other word. Any- I, I don't know how to keep saying word. Would you want the game to never evolve? But I'm like, that's what I'm like, are they doing something different where there actually are two different things in the same testimony you have to work at? But I don't think so. What was it doing there? I better check this knife out. And it got me the proof that it was connected. It's hard. I, I, uh, I mean, I've struggled with easier cases too. This knife. Why did she use this knife to murder if she, okay, well. I'm like, I mean, she, she had a murder weapon on her. And then she didn't use this. Thanks. Thank you. Great. Okay. He did it. He did it. He stole it. Okay. All right. Okay. I think I think I need a nudge. Is is this is is there something with him talking about They were time heisting. Is 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 that what am I? Is there evidence I'm supposed to throw there, or is it a different line that I'm supposed to be targeting? Because that's what I'm. I'm just the last line of his testimony, the last statement. Press every statement again. Okay. How many we are? We're in court. We should have four health. Yeah. Something didn't happen to the police department, too, did it? Yeah, good luck. Sharp hungry. Chief, something happened. 
Well, I'm Jared. Or didn't you ask? I understand. What happened? There's nothing there. Detective was killed the police department. What a mess. On the same day, a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot. Another detective... That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it? I'm at a loss. And the perpetrator. You have a suspect. There was a suspect. We arrested him. Just arrested. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. I could help. The kid's sharp. Here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing, one thing only. I can do this again? Okay, I guess I can do this again. Tell me where he was found. Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found, but I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. The evidence room? Wait a second. I have heard of that. I've heard of an evidence room before. Didn't he mention that in his testimony just now? This knife was evidence in a case it was stolen from the department's evidence room. I've been tased there before. Yeah. There's the connection between the two cases. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. So I chose poorly last time. Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. It's not officially linked to this year case, so I can't talk much about it. Chief, the defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Yeah, you don't say. Well, out with it, Rido. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had written down the numbers on the knife's evidence tag. I never know how to feel when Edgeworth steps in the yes and me. And we also know the detective murdered at the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. Indeed. Make right think. Just thinking about it. You fallen for Edgy too? Who hasn't? Boyfriends support each other. Don't worry about it. Uh, there do seem to be too many connections for it to be coincidence. Check, because he might only know. You two make a good pair. Ah, thanks. It took my men two days to find out what you deduced right here. Chief, I request you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet and all. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. Wait, really? Who would have guessed? Can't believe that worked. I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? So we are actually having the press on different... The, the order of this is very weird compared to the precedent set before us. I'm fine with it. I was just very confused. If you're going to tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Ah, well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh, well. I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of them. Uh, 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 safety, 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 yeah, safety, safety, yeah, safety, 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 the safety, 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 Okay, how about you tell me the victim's ID number? Hmm, sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name after all. We keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... Three. Five eight four two one eight nine. Yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, just one second. Five eight four two one eight nine. Okay, gotcha. Okay, understood. Yep, that's what I was hoping would be the case. What? Well, that's quite long. And we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. Eight, two, I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right. Well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? The ID number of the victim at the police department. Five, eight, four, two, one, eight, nine. This tells me something. 
Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does. I think. Meaning? It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. You see, the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department tells you something? What does it tell you? Yeah. Get a lot of this! Witness! What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. Yeah, maybe a little. No, I, I, it's just, I got confused. And this is news? Huh? Just come out with both guns blazing, like you always do. The police department, the prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh, help. Is it yours? Uh, no, Your Honor, I I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Ryder. Personal IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is... 5842189. And this means what exactly? Huh? Wait! That ID number we heard from the chief earlier. That started with 82. Hmm, I've forgotten. You even got the first number wrong! Again! The number the chief of police gave us was 5842189. Wait a second, right? What does this mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? Oh, <laughs> sharp as a tack, right, though? Sharp as a tack. But wait, Detective Goodman is our victim. He was killed at 515 in the underground parking lot. Yet, a Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department. In the evidence room at the exact same time. Th th that's impossible! So what we're saying is... Identical time-traveling twins? The same person was killed at the same time? And in a completely different location? A quantum murder. It was a time heist. Chief, what does this mean? No. What I want to know is why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine. But I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Uh, now, just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. Or oh, didn't you hear me? Is that his catchphrase or something? The oversight, the grave error. Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. <laughs> Twice now he's done this. I fucked up, you fucked up. But what? How? How dare? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our officer Meekins who brought you the news. Oh damn. I was waiting for that to come back. I didn't piece that together. Uh, uh, officer Meekins? Mr. Wright, where have we heard that name before? Wait, aha! Um... Uh, did they send the most uh, annoying officer because they knew it would piss off Miles? Excuse me, is Mr. Edgeworth anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief. Sir, I've got your report, sir. You betcha. Yeah. You don't mean him? According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said the report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman murdered in the police department's evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. Gah. Why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. 
He did seem challenged, Emma? In any case, this is a serious error, a gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. But, sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... Then, then you... You get... No such luck this time, Worthy. Or should I say, unworthy. What? Game showing its age. Yeah. I would hope that they'd update parts of the script like that for the trilogy re-release. Now, what was the second rule of evidence law? Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, well, it's, um, uh, rule number two. New evidence may only be submitted if it concerns the case on trial. They did good. How and how is this relevant? I don't think the text got changed to the beast release. Uh, normally you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. I can't believe they're getting into like ha the, the logistics of evidence when this entire game up until this point has been ass pulls. Just non-stop ass pulls. We literally just had a witness pulling out evidence and they're like okay i guess that's evidence now and they're like well hold on i can we and then that conversation was put aside and then we were using the photos as evidence so th th there's no standard behold shoe just what does this mean i couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court i need a time out you got it frisky oh seven it's the rule of drama, right? But you can't have it both ways. You can't have nonsense ass pulls and then also be like, well, we couldn't submit the evidence, you see. I mean, unless it's meant to be a frustrating double standard. Like, clearly, there's no standard. It's whatever you want it to be, so that's fine. The connection was just proven by Raito over here. Good job, Raito, my boy. Huh? Uh, I... I was just doing my job. I need to cough too, this is ridiculous. Take a lap. No! Critique of Japan's wheels, by the way. Yeah, sure, yeah. It seems we have come to the end of this trial. You're becoming a thorn in my side, Worthy. There have been rumors. After all, you were in the defendant's chair just last year. Dang. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. Mr. Edgeworth, please. Just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened, if it's the last thing I do. You'd better get results this time, really. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. Never seen him apologize before. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. We will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will this be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well. Court is adjourned. I'm sorry, Mr. Judgey Wudgey. Wudgey Wudgey was a bear. Great. What the hell is happening to this case? February 23rd, 2.15 p.m., Wright and Co. Law Offices. Um, this might be a good place to stop for the day. Um, I, I, I don't know if there is a good place to stop, but this is a not terrible place to stop. What the fuck is this case? Ugh. Case seems longer. Well, everyone's been saying that this is the, this is a big one. Um, it just goes and goes. The Co. is me. playing. It's Charlie. He's the Co. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to be back to this tomorrow. Um, I just got to find something to play while I get caught up on alerts. So we don't have to just listen to the silence. How about this? There we go. Thanks for hanging. I'm going to get caught up on alerts. And then we're going to go raid someone. I'll be back tomorrow. Toot Toot Sonic Warrior. The Steelmeister, thanks for 23 months. Murder me, daddy. I eat my skeddy off the floor like a gentleman. 
Space Queen Leash, thanks for 33 months. Try to get all of Angel Star's unique Ventos. There's a Chivo for it in Steam. That's excellent. That's really good. They're in future games. Love it. I wouldn't expect anything else. Yuki Snowfox, thanks for 26 months. More Ace Attorney. For future me and the VODs, hope you're doing great, bud. Now I wish y'all a great stream. Bar love. Trans Pride. Thank you, Yuki. Lord Charcoal, thanks for 24 months. Enjoy your house key. You're doing RT RFTA. Rise from the Ashes. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. I just have no idea what's happening. We've got the same man murdered in two places. The Sneaky One. Thank you for the Prime. And the Sneaky Sub. Enjoy the emotes. Lude Line, thanks for 54 months. Enjoy your card key. Zamui, thanks for soup. 64 months. Nintendo. Blaze Vice, thanks for 15 months. Yay. Kids on a Civ, thanks for 33 months. My resub happened midstream. I have too sleepy. Have a good sleep. Garbage Nirvana, thanks for soup. A whole batch of what now? Uh, Mario Luigi, thanks again for the handy. Congrats again on graduating. Sir Squirrel, thanks for nine months. Enjoy your Ruby key. Naked Arcade Bubbles, thanks for soup. The Cop of Queen is the lowest ranked gay icon. She is the moment, but like a really bad moment that goes on way too long. Well, thank you. Uh, This is not Sonic, but yes. There you go. Arcoon, thanks for 14 months. Edgeworth, sus, think one. Bar, yuck, banana bread, think two. He's thinking about Goofy talking about banana bread. Exactly, this one, but... Can people not say scarf? No. Uh, appreciate it. Um... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Huh, what? Yep, where? Huh? Yeah. Oh, volume loud meme? Gotcha. Let me find someone to raid. Babbages, babbages. <laughs> Thanks for stream. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging. Appreciate it. I, I, I'm glad to be back to Ace Attorney. Turn volume down. Uh, ooh. Uh,. Uh, uh, nah, it's good. Okay, hold on. Paper box house playing yesterday? Ooh. Uh, uh, okay, I've turned this down really, really low. Is it low enough, though? We'll find out together, chat. Okay, yep. It's pretty good. Spoilers in the video comments. Thanks for that. It's very crunchy. Swimming anyone in G major. That's enough of that. <laughs> ah. Uh, 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 yeah. Anyway. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. uh, he is playing Justice for All Park 21. That's a lot. I think, I, I, uh, I think we're gonna raid Dan, but if you want more Phoenix Race Attorney, Go swing by Paper Box House. Um, Dan's doing a Hollow Knight randomizer with 3,000 extra checks is the name of his stream. So, that sounds like he made every tile in the game a check. Uh, thanks. Good night. Have a good one. Dan would do that. He randled the grass drops? He's doing grass sanity? Damn. Why is, why, why, why is Dan? Anyway, go follow Dan. Uh, you won't regret it. Um, thanks for hanging. Appreciate y'all. I'll be back tomorrow. Maybe see you then. If not, have a good weekend. And you can catch the VOD if you want to see what happened in part two of case five. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to get back to it. But yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to push super late and then be exhausted and have no voice left for tomorrow. What happened? Uh, have a good one. Uh, go, go throw some, some, some bar topsy reports over to Dan. And if you're not subbed, um, uh, Dan be doing the laundry. That's a good one. That's a good BTTV emote right there. Gets so much usage every stream. Everyone's always posting Dan be doing the laundry. Right, there he is. Yet again. Not the first time I've seen that today. Uh, thanks. Goodbye. Oh, man. Oh, with the dampy dumpers. Joker hand. That's good, too. Anyway, uh, go say that. goodbye. See you later. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for joining me on this journey. This is nonsense. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Get out of here. See you. Goodbye. They're gone. VOD watchers. Look at Charlie. He's looking good. And so are you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the VOD. See you in part 
whatever. I was going to say part two. This is very much not part two of the stream, of, of the series, but uh, whatever. Part two of Case 5. Goodbye. See ya.